You're about to watch another exciting episode of The Dungeon Run, but did you know that you can actually be part of the adventure? Tune in live on Wednesday nights at 6 p.m. Pacific time, and you can make your voice heard and help determine the fate of our adventurers. Hope to see you there. Greetings, and welcome to The Dungeon Run, a live tabletop role-playing game where your interactions help tell the tale. I am Lord Ereban, the Keeper of Secrets, and I have brought these adventurers together and set them on an epic quest to decide the fate of the world. When they found my amulet, it gave them the key to unlock the mysteries of Ayn and allowed them to communicate with you, the Watchers of the Time Stream. Now you have the power to help or hinder them as you see fit. If this is your first episode, fear not. Our Dungeon Master will catch you up on everything you need to know to jump right in. And you can always watch past episodes by visiting our YouTube or listen to the audio version by searching for The Dungeon Run wherever you get fine podcasts. The Dungeon Run is made possible through the generous support of our patrons. Bonus shows, special content, and more is available when you become a supporter at patreon.com slash the dungeon run and join the incredible dungeon run community by visiting the official unofficial discord at the dungeon dot run slash discord also don't forget to like and subscribe it really does make a difference but now sit back relax enter the world of Vine, and let the dice roll <laughs> Welcome to the Dungeon Run, episode 108. Yeah! My goodness. Uh, I am uh, so happy that you're here with us. Welcome, watchers of the time stream. Welcome, patrons. If this is your first episode, we got an entire recap coming at you very soon. You will understand where we are in our story just by sticking around. It's so, so easy. But we're glad you're here. We're glad to have you. I'm glad to see all of you players. Thank you for being here. You as well, Jeff. Thank you for I'm inviting us back again. I'm yeah, just here so I won't get fined. A hundred and eight <laughs> for the hundred eighth time actually inviting us back. We really appreciate that. Yeah. Yeah. That's how this show works. Every Tuesday we, we wait for an email from know. Jeff. <laughs> He said, it's we sign off every night with a we'll let you know. Wait, you get the emails on Tuesday, Katie. We get them on we get them on Friday. <laughs> oh. Oh, okay. They have a meeting deciding if I'm coming back as a group. <laughs> the biggest determining factor is how this opening discussion goes. And I'm <laughs> Not looking good for you guys this week. <laughs> anyway. No. Uh, Jeff, have I told to... you how wonderful you are? Oh, my God. <laughs> That's more uh... like it. See, wrong <laughs> um, we got, uh, we got, We got a big big part of our story coming right up. Ooh. But let's uh, check in first. Uh, I got to start with the thing that I'm most excited about. Why? <laughs> because I've been saying it over and over and over again, and it hasn't happened, and I felt like a real... <laughs> <laughs> a real bumbling idiot uh, bringing it up over and no. over. But Jessica Lynn Parsons swooped in to save the day, and we now have a way for you to submit force cards on our website, The Hooray. Dungeon Run. Uh, what is it? What's the, what's the URL, Jessica? <laughs> Jeff, Jeff, come on. <laughs> <laughs> it's dungeonrun.tv slash force cards, and there you can find out more information on how to submit your idea to the good and evil force of... Uh, the force of good and evil tug of war. Um, you can see how it works, what contributes to the tug of war. For people who don't know, you can send them to this page. Um, there's a link to purchase the items to participate and interact with the show. And there's also some examples, some Hall of Fame examples. Um, I pulled some recent wow. ones, but I had to include the epic uh, noodle beard in here. <laughs> well, we know that. Don't encourage Fahima, more noodle beard. We yeah, know that's, that Fahima that's my next character concept, actually. We know that Fahima Tig is a wizard, but Jessica Lynn Parsons is also a wizard. <laughs> Thank you, Jessica Lynn Parsons. I'll drop uh, that link into chat here. Very, very cool. And what is that tug of war she's referring to? Well, let me tell you, every single week, we have a tug of war back and forth between Team Force of Good and Team Force of Evil. That is based on purchasable items. If you're here live with us on twitch.tv slash the dungeon run, you can purchase 
advantages and disadvantages for the team on their roles. Very important. You can also purchase balloons or potatoes and yams. Why? I don't know. But that's what you purchased <laughs> in order to influence the tug of war back and forth. Golden stuff for Team Force of Good, purple stuff for Team Force of Evil, just like Sunny D and the purple stuff. It's a weird reference. Yeah, Jeff's uh, in a weird you? place tonight, guys. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I've been snowed in all day. Right, you know? right, right. Oh, what are you going to do? It's, uh, it's week one of the Shining my... at Jeff's house. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, <laughs> And your potty training too. Right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's not pleasant. It's not yeah. pleasant. Um, Good times. I, you would think I would have known by now. I'm in my forties. <laughs> no, just training now. Anyway, yeah, we're uh, so proud of you, Jeff. You're doing thank so you. Proud. I peeped in the potty. <laughs> <laughs> a big step up. Oh no! None of us. Feet. None of us are being invited back next week. <laughs> <laughs> Least of all me. Okay, so that tug of war happens, and then whichever team wins unlocks a new card the following week last week team force of good was triumphant uh, and we are actually already have uh, the war has started Ooh. oh my goodness references needed says happy birthday uh, on a gold gold potato from references needed i don't know if that means references needed is having a birthday is references needed <laughs> birthday is it the chrono dragon's birthday Happy birthday, regardless. Re uh, references <laughs> needed with two golden potatoes. Oh, my right? goodness. Uh, they they share a birthday wow. with Lesliana because it's my mom's birthday today. Aww. But not, Aww. not to be outdone, Team Force of Evil has two evil yams from, oh. you guessed it, references needed. <laughs> oh. Amazing. Oh. References needed coming needed. in on both sides. Wow. Pulling, it, <laughs> pulling back and forth that tug of war. We also Force have some balloons. Balloons from Sweet Child of Ein and Squid Bob Tentacle Pants. <laughs> uh, right now, that puts Team Force of Good at 51%. Ooh. Team Force of Evil at 49%. Pretty good. Pretty cool. But as I said last week, Team Force of Good ran away with it. So we will unlock a Force of Good card. I will explain to what that is momentarily. Uh, do we have other announcements? Gang? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I have well, one or two as well. But go ahead, Go ahead. Jessica. No, you go ahead. I'm just going <clears> to <throat> shout out some just... chat. Absolutely. I just want to let everybody know that we did take down the holiday only things available on the store. Uh, I have not yet added more as I will this month. Uh, it's been a little crazy this week for me. I will, I will make sure to do that next week. So look out next week for some more wonderful things on the store. Still ahead of some of my neighbors. We still have their Christmas trees up. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we'll also mention uh, our patreon.com slash the dungeon run. There's so many amazing things there. And there was a really uh, well-received dungeon cooldown this week with Ron Ogden and Jared Kajak, where mm -hmm. uh, it just became like an all-in-all D&D tip a thon I don't know. Yeah. Uh, but it was, uh, it was a really, really fun chat and uh back and forth and it was it was a lot of fun to see everybody so engaged and yeah, i think people we'll had doing... a lot of really good questions for yeah. like whether you were a new dm or you've been dming for a long time or if you're a player and you're trying to figure out where you want to go with your character uh people also just uh, had a lot of great questions about you know role playing in general and home games versus uh show games like this uh so ron and i enjoyed it thoroughly and i think we're going to be doing more of those in the future but it won't necessarily interrupt the cooldown because right. I know how much people enjoy talking about the show YouTube as well. Series. YouTube series, YouTube series, <laughs> do it, do it. Yeah, we've well, talked, uh, yeah. Um, I mean, we've yeah. essentially talked about transforming arcane artistry into this new thing. Yeah. 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 And wow. again, all that extra content is made possible because of patrons at patreoncom slash run. It is exclusive to them first. Uh, so if you want to get all of that stuff right when it comes out, become a patron. Check it out, patreon.com slash the dungeon run. Jessica, what's going on right now in the Twitch stream? So you may have noticed, I saw a lot of folks are already using it. We have some new animated emotes. Ooh. So you can throw in uh, Jeff doing his, what was it? Was this from the Achai Rider moment? Yeah. Him, yeah. Like, uh, his, his arm it up was here? the flock, yeah. 
Yeah, Ch chat wants to know, have you seen this, doing the Jeff? flock. Have you seen yourself in a little mini form? <laughs> have I seen myself? I try not to. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. Well, chat, you have your answer. Um, but we also have some animated... He's potty training he... Jessica, and he's very vulnerable. <laughs> 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 okay, I shouldn't ask him any more questions. Yeah, yeah, We have a Force of Good and Force of Evil balloons, and a Critical Fail and Critical Success animated emotes that are new. So I wow. see lots of people using those. Awesome. The balloons look wow. so cool. Wow. Yeah. Like wow. that. Jeff, Jeff is everybody. all Jeff doing this like it is yeah. it is blasting chat right now <laughs> blasting chat that's what i like to do i like to blast some chat oh man all right katie how's your wi-fi <laughs> <laughs> not at a hotel baby Woo! i mean i'm landline so i'm not existent <laughs> love it love it um okay everything? so I know I want to shout out some folks in chat still. Um, we have Lisbon Wolf started out our stream with a big raid. So thank you so much Amazing. for that. We Sweet. have cheers from Wishface and VL Forever, Borkware Mark D, Red Robin, Numera, Just Jules, another raid from Iron Iron Phoenix Gaming. Cool. Big cheer from two big cheers from Fall Star. And then Witchface gave out 10 community gift subs. Uh, thank you so much for that. We have more cheers from Squishy Tofu, Hadrian with a big cheer, more from Fall Star and Veal Forever, Angel Devilson cheered, Kitty Scritches, so many familiar names. Um, let's see if there's anything else up here. We, we had a level five hype train that we completed. Level so thank five. you for that. We have Sweet. lots of gift subs to our community, lots of resubs. So thank you so much for your support. We see that. Awesome. We also got another evil yam while we were talking. This one from <laughs> Chef Scott 68. Thank you, Chef, Chef Scott. Scott. Thank you, Chef Scott. Awesome. Okay. Uh, which uh, puts the, uh, the swings, the tug of war, into Team Force of Evil's favor. Ooh. 59% uh, for Team Force of Evil, 41% for Team Force of Good. Copy. Uh, also, I want to tell you what the unlocked card is this week. Mm. This is a Force of Good card. It comes to us. Uh, by the way, I have to say, this week, <laughs> top-notch submissions. Top-notch notch submissions. And I'm sure there's going to be even more now that you can go to the dungeonrun.tv <laughs> force cards. Yeah. Is it plural? Force cards? Plural? Yes. Uh -huh. Force cards. So easy. It'll be so easy now. You can get it, all the stuff. You can see all the examples. Ah, so easy. <laughs> uh, but we had some really top-notch submissions. It was hard for me to pick. But I went with one from Witch Space. Because this uh, made me smile. Uh, this is called Bardic Desperation. Ooh. <laughs> Once this session, each party member may at any time obtain a Bardic Inspiration die by uttering the phrase, by the bard, and then offering up a quote from William Shakespeare. Oh, okay. I like this one. The bardic inspiration will be either a D6, a D10, or a D12, depending on how obscure the quote is, as judged by the DM. Oh. However, at least one other party member must recognize the play or sonnet mm. from which the wow. quote comes. Wow. Really? If Look. no party member recognizes the quote, Which the person is. attempting may try again later in the session using a different quote. Mm -hmm. Unless Jeff recognizes the source of the quote and no one else does. <gasps> okay. Wow, okay. Wow. Jared, this seems so like a card made for you. It can't be too obscure because... You're, you're so, lucky. If we, so if we say it and you get it right but no one else does, we get nothing and we can't try again. Correct. Oh, but shit. if you say it and some and any one other player or multiple players get it correctly uh then i judge how obscure so if you're i mean if we're saying to be or not to be you know right. it's a d6 oh, you took you it you took mine yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, i'm, I'm <laughs> throwing that right out i gotta yeah. think of another one yeah right. everybody google sonnets <laughs> I'm not gonna know the sonnet. You're gonna know the sonnets? Just Google it. Yes. Shall I compare thee to a summer's it? day that art more lovely and more temperate? Stop Ruffins it, Kanata! Summer's <laughs> all too short a date. Okay. <laughs> everybody good? Everybody good? Everybody understand that? Yes. Yeah. Yes. All That'll right. Fun, but which face? That is. Wait, I have a question. I have an answer. If we get a bardic inspo dice, but you're like, it's too obvious, can we try again or no? No, I mean, I'm not going to throw any of them out. You'll just get a D6 instead of a D10 or D12. That's Early. all. Okay, okay. Yeah. 
mean, you could do to be or not to be, but it, you know, it'll be like, man, D six, big. You will be ridiculed and judged. <laughs> yeah, ridiculed and judged. Yeah. Great. All right. <laughs> Are we ready, everybody? It's like every episode. Yes. For me. Okay. Yes. Then let's light the torch. It started as a simple dungeon run. Five adventurers thrown together by fate, each of them searching for something. For Fahima Tig, it was a quest to find her missing father. Conroy Tig had left their hometown of Axbright in pursuit of something marvelous. He sought one of the legendary wardens, the towering 100 foot tall elementals that were said to watch over the realms of Ayn and keep the peace. But few believed in the Wardens anymore. None of them had been seen in many years, and Conroy's stubborn insistence that they were real and his repeated trips to find them were viewed as fanciful at best and foolhardy at worst. When he did not return home and his letters stopped arriving, Fahima decided to strike out on her own, to gather resources and leave her sheltered hometown to find him. In Kippleturn, she found a note posted to a signpost. A simple dungeon run to score some easy treasure and four other adventurers with the same idea. Together, they would become the heroes of Bingle. But what this unlikely team discovered inside that first dungeon was far from simple. A magical relic known as the Secret Keeper's Amulet, crafted from the eye of the mightiest dragon to ever exist the Chrono Dragon, no Nezeron. They took the amulet to a wizard of the natural order named Torvald the Timid, who told them that it too had ties to the mythical wardens. The amulet dated back to a time called the Ariat Age, before the Great War of Ideas 300 years ago, and it was the key to unlocking the mysteries of that time. When brought into contact with a warden, the amulet revealed visions of a lost history, memories hidden inside the Warden's subconscious. So, the team is set about finding the Wardens and, dis and uncovering the truth of their origins. They learned the Wardens had once been mere mortals, that 300 years ago, a group of Ayn's greatest champions gave up everything they had ever known to become the Wardens, and that a fifth Warden had been concealed, unknown even to those who still believed the Wardens were real. They also learned that in recent times, a cabal of Ayn's most deadly individuals had captured three of the Wardens and extracted the motes of power that created them. Leading this cabal was a mysterious spellcaster known as the Ashen Mage. Alongside the mad scientist Fardinald Ertenfurt, the exiled Dragonborn leader Jan Mo, and the wily con artist Vic, the Ashen Mage held the Storm Warden, the Inferno Warden, and the Typhoon Warden in dangerous locations across the realms. The heroes of Bingle battled the Cabal and freed the Wardens. But high atop Sky Scorcher Peak, they came face to face with the Ashen Mage and her allies. The wizard was searching for the Quake Warden and offered Fahima a chance to switch sides and join her Cabal. This angered Vic, who smashed a magical urn held by the Ashen Mage. The resulting explosion killed her, but allowed the heroes of Bingle to escape. It also unleashed a new terror on the land. 
As waves of energy rippled out of the shattered urn, bizarre and horrible creatures began to appear in the countryside. Demons, the likes of which had never been seen in Ein. Vic's final words to the heroes of Bingle were to seek out the grave of the Chrono Dragon. But first, he returned to Turles, a city under siege by these new demons. The heroes gained access to a vault in the bank of Turles, where a pirate captain had once stashed an ancient weapon capable of striking down any foe. Retrieving this God Slayer blade, they immediately tried to use it to defend the city, to eliminate the demon lord who commanded the onslaught. But the plan backfired. The, the Lord of Crows stole the weapon from Siv's hand and used it to destroy the Inferno Warden right in front of their eyes. The two surviving Wardens urged the team to find the Quake Warden. Without the motes of power, they were dying, and it seemed they had no idea where the Quake Warden was either. But perhaps Conroy did. The team traveled north from Turles to Axbrite and searched for Hema's childhood home. They found unusual spells and drawings of an insectoid creature in Conroy's notes. They also talked to an old friend of Fahima's, the map maker baker, Artie Duffs, <laughs> who gave them a map he had drawn in collaboration with Conroy, a sketch of a little known region in the Northwest called Orms. Artie believed it was Conroy's destination. So they traveled north, up into Shazen Gao territory. The Dragonborn Empire was notoriously inhospitable to outsiders, but the team managed to steer clear of the Imperials and track a group of flying dragons to the location of Nonezeron's grave. Amidst a disorienting temporal anomaly, they found the entrance to the Chrono Dragon's former lair and its final resting place. Inside the dead gray cave, atop Nonezeron's half-buried bones, the Secret Keeper's amulet began to stir. It showed them another vision of the past, a violent clash between the champions of the Ariat Age and the mighty Chrono Dragon. At the height of the pitched battle, Nonezeron fled, leaping forward in time 300 years to the precise moment the heroes of Bingle stood waiting. Once again, using the God Slayer blade, the heroes landed the decisive blow to the Chrono Dragon, sending its corpse back from whence it came. They watched on three centuries in their past as the champions used the Chrono Dragon's corpse to create both the God Slayer blade and the Secret Keeper's amulet. Knowing that the Ashen Mage still sought the Quake Warden, the race was on to find it before she did. The team circumvented the city of Zhang and traveled for a week through hostile territory, avoiding Shazengao military at all costs. Using their Locate Warden spell, the team tracked the signature of the Quake Warden until they came upon a massive footprint embedded in the cold, dry soil. A footprint that seemed to have been established as some sort of holy site. Creatures in long robes collected stones and carried religious materials, but fled as soon as they spotted the heroes of Bingle. As they buried, uh, burrowed under the ground, Lily recognized the creatures as the same insectoids that Conroy had encountered in his travels. Then, the rocks around the periphery of the footprint began to move, to cobble together into something large and unfriendly. The team defeated the stone construct and continued west, moving ever closer to the energy signature of the Quake Warden. As we ended last week, the heroes of Bingle arrived at the area marked on Artie Duff's hand-drawn map, Orms. Ahead of them, a spiky hillock rose out of the chilly highland plains, jutting rocks and boulders forming a small mountain ridge, a ridge that was moving, undulating, shifting, the very stone itself morphing and reshaping with alarming plasticity. Like an unruly sea, the terrain, the rock, stone, and soil was agitated. That is where we will pick up this week. If I can speak English. 
Uh, Jeff, who's currently trippingly on the tongue? Trippingly on the tongue, right, guys? Yeah. Speaking of Shakespeare, Speak the speech. <laughs> Who is uh, who's currently winning the force of good, force of evil? Currently winning. Well, I I should update you because we got another gold potato. Oh man! From Kitty Scritches. Thank you, Kitty. Oh, thank you, Kitty Scritches. And Ron. Yeah. I got bad news for you, buddy. Oh no. Team Force of Good, fifty percent. Woo! Team Force of Evil, fifty percent. So I don't know what that means. For, <laughs> I don't know what that means for Ugo right now. <laughs> I I did never anticipate that we would have a, 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 a dead a dead. Uh, wow, that's incredible. Yeah, well, but I, I, we haven't changed days though. I mean, it, it, Jeff, I think you, if, if memory serves, at the end of last episode, you said we traveled for many hours after the last battle. Does that mean a day has passed, or I thought we had established it was a couple of days? Uh, yeah, I think it, it's more than uh, it was more than a day. It's yeah. the footprint. Okay, yeah. got it. Okay. Okay, yeah, I I had erased my spell slots, and I was like, hmm, I thought we got in a fight, and I put them no, back. Yeah, you. Uh, <laughs> yeah. You have it would took more than a day to get there got it so okay. it is force of evil that is going to win on the on the flip of a coin toss here got it. so uh do you still have our d6 uh morgan i do can you roll that for me fahima fahima all right on a d6 in the force of evil aura uh fahima is the aura of sanguis odia which is non-family members Smelly within blood. the aura have disadvantage <laughs> on saving throws versus spells Ooh. So non -family members. Ten, yeah, uh, all non-family members. So everyone within 10 feet of Ugo, who is not part of his oath of the family, mm -hmm. has disadvantage on saving throws versus spells. Ooh. Cool. Nice. Jeez. Very okay. nice. Wow. All right. Yes. Quick, throw Ugo at it. <laughs> <laughs> Run in there, Ugo. That seems to always be what we do. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Throw an not, Ugo at it. See not it lately. Sticks. Not ever since no, not you went like, down to level four. <laughs> uh, get a little bit stronger now. I yes, think, you I think are. we yes. could throw me back in there a bit. Yeah. Uh, Put me in. I'm fine. Put me in, coach. <laughs> All right. I'm not so. dead yet. <laughs> the wheel, that's all. We're back to our story, and all of you are looking out at this extraordinary view, and you stand there watching this incredible, impossible sight mountains and hills, huge slabs of rock and stone shifting and sliding, the entire landscape pulling itself apart and reforming into different configurations, a breaking and reshaping, a slamming and crumbling. It is violent and beautiful, like watching a trash compactor or a building being demolished or more accurately, it's like observing an unending earthquake localized in one area just beyond where you're standing. Cracks and fissures opening up and closing, enormous boulders cracking off and reconnecting, the ground itself rising into tall peaks and collapsing again, the pure immensity of the mass of what is moving, the power and strain of it all, it's awe-inspiring, and you feel the rumble of it under your feet. Jeff just wants to remind us that we all still live in Los Angeles. That's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> what it is. There was an earthquake this morning, in fact. Uh, um, yeah. Jeff, so on the map, Orms is, is, looks to be like a city, or, or at least a small town or whatever. Is there a visible town? No. No, I, I mean, yeah, I, who would uh, live here? Good lord. Yeah, no, it is not <clears throat> it is not a city, it is not a town, or at least it doesn't appear that way okay. to you now. What it looks like is this this tumult of rock and stone breaking apart, uh, forming into peaks and collapsing and reshaping, cracking open. It is it's it's almost like watching a turbulent ocean, but the ocean is made of rock and stone. Is that traversable? I know I asked that at the end of the last episode. Is that something that we can take a cart and, you know, try to traverse? I, I, I mean, I think that, you know, you, it, it certainly does not look like it, it would be safe to go inside that, no. Right. It would be like, you know, it's like taking a, a dinghy into the most violent sea. Right. 
So if I send Mr. Whispers up and have him look around, is this an effect that happens miles in in multiple directions? Or is this one of those things where it's just kind of localized to this specific area? It's localized to this specific area, but it is a very large area. It is okay. it is quite quite a large area. I don't think we should. I think we should probably Well didn't Arty Duff's Fahima, didn't Arty Duff's say that there was your father was use, use, utilizing different gates and different ways to 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 get through this a very treacherous area and looking at this. I mean, maybe this is what he was talking about. Yes, yes, he did say that. Um, is this the Quake Warden? I mean, possibly. Yeah, Jeff. I mean, I try. Like, is there is there a ma- giving off a magical vibe? I mean, I mean, it certainly doesn't sound natural. I, I don't. No, it certainly doesn't look natural. I mean, it, it, none of you have ever seen anything quite like this. It is, uh, I mean, if, if, it's, imagine, you know, seeing this kind of violent, earth-shaking, constantly happening. Yeah. Just this, like, mass of earth being shifted around, morphing, mm-hmm. breaking apart, holes opening up and collapsing again. It's, it's... We've never... Whenever we've met a previous warden or go, they've always been captured and held in a spot where they were not in their own strength, you know? Inferno that was at the bottom. Of... Yes, I know. So I think... So maybe this is the first time we've ever seen a warden at home, so to speak. Maybe he's sleeping underground? Or maybe this is what happens when a warden is at full power and stays in a certain place for long enough. Hmm. Jeff, how far is it, like... Side to side, apologies if you said this and I missed it. Like, it's in front of us, like everything is moving, but is it like we could go around the edge of it or? Yes, you could. Yeah, okay. you could. Uh, I mean, it's 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 a large swath of land, uh, but it is certainly something you could, as you, you know, get closer, you could you could mark a pretty clear periphery of it. Because there's no foreseeable like entrance or way to really that's correct. this. So. Yeah. Are we yeah. coming at it from the southeast, from the east, from the northeast? Coming from from the east, yes, almost directly east. Due east, okay. Yeah. Well, sh- should we try to maybe go a- around the side and see if we can't get a better view of what's happening? Yeah, I have no maybe. idea where to start. Yeah, maybe. Is this maybe also from those ant people? Possibly, but they were. Possibly, I mean, they but... were burrowing, but I, this feels big. Yeah, but I maybe maybe not true, but. I'll go think ant people send rock monster. It felt that Possibly. way. Yeah. Maybe the maybe the insects the insects seem to be worshipping the spot of the footprint. Maybe the insects worship the quake warden. And maybe the the stone elemental or whatever it was. Maybe that's been uh maybe that's a part of the of the, uh, maybe as as given to them as defense, maybe I don't know. Uh, Jeff, I'll go walks up to uh, what I would de- what I would define as the edge of where everything's moving, yeah. uh, and activates a divine sense. Does he get the same hollow feel that he got at the footprint? Well, I mean, <laughs> as you approach it, first of all, mm-hmm. it seems absolutely crazy to venture anywhere near this thing it's like stepping into an avalanche so you get you know as close as you dare and uh you activate divine sense what's the range on divine sense feet yeah so you you, 60 you know 60 feet away or or just in from that range Mm uh seems you know safe for you but it is still i mean this turbulent deformation of earth it's just it's it's incredible uh and you do not get that same sense that what you are looking at, this thing 60 feet in front of you, is hol- hallowed like the footprint was. No. Okay. Now it S- is not sacred here. Okay. Siv. Yes. Could Mr. Whispers be on the lookout for anything like any sign of Conroy, any sign of like a tent or uh, where he might be staying? I mean, I don't know where to sure. start. Sure. I'll send him back up looking specifically for uh, like a structure or a building or something that might still be standing or even remnants of something that might have been standing at one point. Yeah. 
Uh, and Mr. Whispers takes wing, whoosh, flies up in the air, and you get this sense in your mind, these, the vision of his eyes through your, or you, you know, your eyes through his. And all you see, again, even from the air, is uh, you get even a greater sense of just the immensity of this area and the violence of this, this sort of squashing and reformation and just this mass of earth and rock and stone that is all being shifted and pushed and pulled uh, over this large swath of land. Can I tell if it's going in a specific direction? Uh, well, you, you know, as you watch, roll me a perception check. Uh, Mr. Whisper's perception or my perception? Well, I mean, you are literally seeing through his eyes, right? That's Correct. how it works? Yeah, Correct. so I think it would be your perception. Okay. Uh, you have advantage from a jar full of bees countered by Grim Faded. Okay. Oh, that's how I want to start the night off. Natural 20. Nice. Uh, uh, with perception bonus, that's a uh, 27. Whoop, whoop. All right. So <clears throat> you are focused on this, on this area. And the magnitude of what you're looking at is almost overwhelming. But your focus, your ability to perceive with such precision, you pick out something odd. You notice a single section that is not moving, mm. not shifting, a standing stone a piece of a cromlech, motionless and constant. A cromlech? What's a cromlech? A cromlech is um is it, good like word. A Stonehenge is a cromlech. Uh, uh, it's like a, a standing stone. Got um, it. You know, a bu bunch of standing stones is make, makes a cromlech. Yeah. How much distance between us and that? Uh, it's much nearer to you. It's sort of uh, in the what uh, southwest edge of this. Okay. So I'll tell everybody. Excuse me, southeast edge. Excuse me. Southeast. Yeah, okay. I, yeah. I figured you meant southeast. Yeah. Uh, so I'll tell everybody this. Uh, originally, I thought we should go north, but now I'm thinking we go south, just because it's the only thing that's not moving. If we're trying to find something to um, investigate, let's get a little further in as well. Um. Well, I, I mean, could, we can't. We're gonna we, get there. We can't I, really take the the cart or the horses in we can go around the circumference or the outside of it but once we get to a certain point we're just going to have to leave them we could fly all of us i could make three of us fly so oh, I could polymorph and carry more of us i could carry the other two right or or, or fahima could yeah I, I could make three of us fly and fahima could polymorph into into something to carry Giant eagle yeah mm. It might be good the more of us flying, the better. Just yes. in case yes. something happens to, I don't know, James, and then he loses concentration, and then we fall, and then bang his I head have no on the idea side. what you're talking <laughs> well, about. It happens one time. <laughs> one time's so, enough. It hurts. <laughs> I know. I'm sorry. I felt terrible. So, Siv, we're heading toward this spot that's not moving, correct? I, I mean, that's just me guessing. Okay. If you have a better idea, I'm no. I'm all for suggestions. It is. I would suggest a belt, but I don't know. It looks pretty crazy over there. I would. You wanna... think it could work, Fahima? You'd be safe with it. Dig with in the, the middle of that. Yeah. Uh... I don't think it's a good idea, but I I'm also assuming Ugo does not know everything, so. Mm. I don't know either, to be honest. Mm. I like the idea of flying, since yes. this this area, this stone is uh raised i also like the idea of flying <laughs> how big is the area around jeff is it like is there enough space for the five of us to land there so the idea is that um if you imagine like a standing stone like like if you imagine a stone at stonehenge like you know, a like cromlech Oh, a cromlack. Yeah, yeah, everybody knows oh, what a right, cromlack yeah, is. Cromlack. <laughs> it's a big, it's a big, almost like... Um, Nailed it, Katie. <laughs> or, or, you know, like Easter Island, but not carved. You know, like the, these, these, this, a huge stone that sort of stood on its end very conspicuously. Um, and that is uh, sitting 
uh, you know, past the edge of where all of this stuff is happening. So it's not in the middle of it. It's almost on the, uh, almost on the periphery in the, the southwest sort of edge of where this is. Maybe Southeast. some of us should stay back. Well, should we try to get to that area first and then minimize the amount of this turbulent rock that we're flying over? Yeah, yeah, let's start. Yes, that, that's that's what I was saying. We get as close as we possibly can and then we fly. Oh, it's not that. Oh, okay. I thought it was like in the middle and we had to fly over there. I didn't realize it could go around. Well, Wait, it's... no, we do have to fly to it, Jeff, right? It, it, there is there is turbulent earth between here and there. No, you could get oh. to it by by wow. veering instead of going oh, directly sorry directly west you could okay. veer south and circle around basically to where it is yeah oh okay great well then i think we head that way yes yeah we save a spell perfect thank you Ogre. yeah okay all right you only That's have right. so many it's and true i keep count <laughs> very much all right Harry. then okay all right yeah so moving closer to this area feels incredibly dangerous the rumble under your feet, under your wagon, under your uh, celestial bear's hooves, that rumble intensifies. Awesome. You can feel it. <laughs> You're moving toward a maelstrom. You feel the vibration in your chest, the sound and fury of it. It's just there, this undulation of rock, like the very earth itself is breathing angrily. But as you reach the Cromlech stone. You notice something carved into it. A line. A shape. A symbol. It looks almost like a paperclip. A line <laughs> circling around. It's Microsoft. Or... Word. Wait. Fahima. You recognize this symbol from the map. <gasps> it looks like it could be a circle around a question mark shape. And that's what you thought it was on Artie Duff's map. You thought there was a circled question mark. You assumed it was shorthand notation for an unknown point of interest on the map. But now you realize it corresponds to this Cromlech stone. The symbols are too similar to ignore. Okay, um, do, can, can I do an Arcana check to see if, I don't know if this would be an Arcana check, but I want to see if I can figure out why this might be inscribed in the stone? Well, I think that would be pretty inscrutable at this moment. I mean, it is, uh, you can do an Arcana check and see if it has any kind of magical properties, um, yeah. if that's what you'd like is to do, a, but. Is it a sigil of some kind or something? Yeah. Or? Yeah, I'll, I'll sure. do that. Uh, you so, can roll me roll an Arcana check. You have advantage from Gateway Guy countered by Grim Faded. I'll cast Thank Guidance you. on you for that. Thing. We also Thank got you. an evil yam Ooh, from Abra Kill Dabra. Good right. name. Good name. Abra <laughs> Kill Dabra. Thank you. Uh, bringing the force of evil up to 57%. Ooh, <gasps> oh. Good 43%. Oof. Uh, all right. That's a 22. Nice. It does not appear to you that any particular magic is coming off of this stone, nor does it appear that magic was used to carve this, how, this symbol. How big is it? Is it like the size of your hand, or, it, or is it something you could step into? The symbol into? or the rock? The, the symbol itself. Quite big. I mean, the rock itself is quite big. The rock itself is probably, you know, uh, probably 13 feet tall. You know, it's a big big old stone, big boulder. Uh, and the, the the carving takes up the entire front face of it. Okay, so if we're standing next to the Cromlech stone, this, then we are, it is standing, it's about how high? 13 feet. It, like 13, 13 feet. feet, yeah. 13 feet it's, high. It's and, quite large. And this, and this giant symbol that looks like a circled question mark is Covering yeah, it's like front. if you imagine like a if you if you circled a question if you drew a question mark and then c kept drawing the bottom line and then circled around it almost like um, an uh -huh. ampersand or okay. uh, you know like I, I uh, compare it to like a paper clip you know like one continuous line that mm. goes around nice but it, it's not an ampersand is perfectly circular this is more compressed and ovular uh, so what I Fima will note that down in her diary would 
this looks similar to the shape that an acceleration gate would make. I haven't cast that spell yet. No. Okay. Uh, Jeff, Ugo's going to go up to the symbol and run his finger from the edge of the, just following the, the groove around. Mm -hmm. uh, religion check? Okay. Sure. Uh, roll me a religion check. You have uh, advantage from... Full of vexation come I with complaint against my child, my daughter Hermia. Oh. Oh, uh, Midsummer Night's Dream. Yeah, Hermia. Well done. That is correct. That is a genius. Uh, Gia. you know, if you hadn't used, if you hadn't put Hermia in there, yeah, I'd give you a D12, yeah. but I'll give you a D10. I'll give you All a right. D10. D10. Thank you. Yeah. Um, give me a break. <laughs> I think if you hadn't put Hermia in, you... none of them would be You also have advantage from the Carson countered by Grimfader. I was going to say Lee until he said Hermia. Okay. Uh, my religion check is a 14 with yeah, the D10. You're adding a D10? Yeah, I added seven to the D10, but it's a Oof. 16 total. <laughs> okay. Um, I would also like to point out uh, for the rest of you that based on the rules of the card, you don't have to announce that you're doing your bardic inspiration until after you roll. You can literally do it at any time. So. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. cool. But I mean, you probably would have. I still would have used it. <laughs> yeah. Um, it is clear, it was a 14, you said? 14 total. Yeah. It is clear to you that there is some religious connotation to this, but it is unclear to you as to what that might be. You run your finger uh, through the groove and the groove is not the, the full size of the etching is quite large, but the groove isn't particularly wide or deep. In fact, it's rather subtle and one that was, e is, was easy to miss uh, were it not for, you know, Jared's natural 20. Uh, it would be, have been a difficult thing to see from, uh, from distance. Um, when you walk up to it, you see it, but it is not, this is not a, um, a signpost of something. Mm -hmm. It does seem to be a bit more subtle than that. And you run your finger through it, it's not, the groove is not much wider than your finger. Uh, and you get a bunch of uh, dirt and dust and, and rock particles on your finger. And then standing there, I mean, pressing it with your finger, the rumble of what is just beyond it is unmistakable. I mean, you are standing and this is, this is a large 13 foot boulder, but it is literally the, the smallest piece of rock here. And the only piece of rock that's not wildly shifting and undulating around you. I mean, it is, you feel this rumble happening just beyond this spot. It is the only constant thing in this sea of chaos. Does it seem like... I'll go we'll cast Detect Magic as he finishes his finger on the, on the symbol. Yeah, you do not get, a, though, just beyond it, Mm -hmm. With all of the moving, lots of magic, mm -hmm. uh, but this, the, stone, the, this stone itself does not seem to be uh, does, sparking magic. Does it Religious. seem okay? No magic. Got it. Does it seem like, like, like a map, like dance steps? Like if we followed it, if we followed mm -hmm. the pattern of walking in this way, because I assume the line that encircles it has to end at some point. Right. Um. It, you do not get that particular sense from it. Okay. But um, Fahima, you do you 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 did get that map from Artie Artie Duffs, right? You have it in your possession. Uh huh. Yes. And you know, as you guys moved to this area, it was clear that you know, judging by the distance that you traveled from the Monarch River and the that, you know, obviously the massive, crazy, magical <laughs> land mass that's undulating in front of you. It, it was pretty clear that this must be Orms, but it is so difficult to make heads or tails of the place in relation to the map because the terrain is in flux. It is, it, 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 nothing resembles anything, but- We can't tell the cardinal directions. Right, until now. You have an anchor point to orient the map. So the symbol mm -hmm. also sits on one edge of Artie's drawing. Oh. So you can rotate the parchment in your hands until it lines up the cartography of the map 
still doesn't match with anything you're actually seeing because all of that is so chaotic and and unsettled. But because the landscape, uh, because in, you you have now this point, you can see where the nota the other notations on the map should be in relation to where you're standing now. What are the other notations on the map other than Orms? Or well, those questions. previously noted gates. Right. The gates, okay. Where is the nearest other gate from here? Farther to your left, farther to the west. Uh, if you walked around south, it looks like as you hold the map up, now that you've oriented it to where this stone is, because the stone is... The, the symbol on the map is in a is also on the periphery of the the drawing that Artie made that was related to him by Conroy. Mm -hmm. So if you think about, okay, we're on the edge as well, and this thing is on the edge, you can sort of line the map up and you go, okay, if we walk over to our left, the nearest gate symbol is 100 feet in that direction. And, and if we look 100 feet in that direction, is that area shifting or no? Yeah, and you, I mean, you'd have to walk around there or ride your cart or however you want to do it uh, around there. Yeah. Um, but if you do, would you like to do that? Well, I'm just asking if we look over that direction. Uh, I mean, you can't see it from where you're standing now, right? You've got this 13-foot boulder in front of you. All right. this stuff is crazy. But it, it seems clear that if you kept walking that way, you know, around this side, yeah. you would eventually get to where that point is. Are all of the symbols on the map on the periphery or does no. they slow, they they start to work their way in? Yes. And it is looks like any... you could ping between the different arcane gates. Based on well, how I don't far know what apart you mean they are by on the map. Well, I know that gates. they shoot you. Well, sorry, they're not gates? Well, I think if we I think I think the point of your father's spell of the acceleration gate was he created the gates between the points. Mm. So these these aren't themselves, and I'll point to the, the Cromlech, uh, these aren't the gates themselves. But There's only one of these. Right, there's only one stone. Yeah. Uh, it, it looked like from the map that maybe we should just walk that way. Let's let's take it easy for now, I guess, and walk, yeah. Let's try it, it's not that far. Before we cars. go over there, uh, I, I, Siv's just going to go around the whole boulder just to make sure we didn't miss anything, and he'll climb up on top of the boulder to make sure there isn't anything on top of the boulder either. Yeah, I'll Cat's investigate. Always got to jump on the highest thing available. <laughs> I'll investigate the base as well as he's climbing. All right, both of you roll me investigation checks. If I you pee have on it to mark my territory. <laughs> sure, sure, of course. Of course. I, I investigate the side. <laughs> All right, Siv, you have advantage from Goofus McDorkle. James, you have advantage from Z-Man 9018, countered by Grim Faded. Thank you, both. Lily, you have advantage from Hadrian X, countered by Grim Faded. I investigate the back, of the back, back side of my eyelids. I guided myself <laughs> as well for an 18. Oh, you find everything. I found <laughs> everything in here. I got a 14 for the side. <laughs> The lower side, because you're... I can't, yeah, I can't see the top, so... <laughs> yeah, I got a 13. Investigation? Yeah. Yeah, yeah 13. 18. All right. Uh, <laughs> Fahima and Lily and Ugo, you stand there as... Uh, or no, excuse me, Fahima and Ugo, you stand there as uh, the, the other three of them uh, are patting around the side of this thing, looking at this big mm -hmm. stone slab that's sitting there. Uh, uh, you watch Siv climb to the top of it, look out... Uh, none of you find anything other than this is a very big uh, stone. Of course, the strange thing about it is it's not behaving like all the other stone here. It's behaving like a stone. Right. Uh, everything else not behaving like stone at all. Uh, right. Siv, as you stand on top of it, you get uh, an even grander view of, of of all of this, but it is the more chaos. of what I've described. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. My takeaway is that this stone is not intimidated by peer pressure. <laughs> um, correct. Yeah. Kudos, kudos to it, really, for having strong self-esteem. Yeah. It knows uh, what it is, and it stands by its morals. Does it does it look out of place, Jeff? Just like does the stone is it a different color than the stones around it, or does it look like it kind of ki came from this general? Geography? I think it looks like it, it it is of a kind with everything around here. Although okay. it it just you know it stands out in that it doesn't behave right. like all the other stones. Okay. It's a rock star. <laughs> 
<laughs> Please, but let's leave before uh, more puns keep coming. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry uh, to put you between a rock and a hard place. Oh, God. Uh, all right. All right, all right quickly. Everyone all right, just silently it. leaves. <laughs> Even the bear, the bear is kind of smacks. Buddy's <laughs> like. Dismisses itself. <laughs> and, and <two> buddy. <laughs> that was not, that was not by Shakespeare. Uh, you, buddy. <laughs> Don't know what that's from. Uh, so <laughs> yeah, I guess we'll take the cart over to where this, according to the map, where this other uh, gate uh, portal um, might be. But if we get into an area where it's too rocky for the uh, cart and the horses, then I'll just, um, I guess, leave them behind. If there's right, a, so if there's a safe place to do that. You move around the periphery of this shaking and shifting terrain, steering clear of the slamming and colliding rock surfaces. And you, 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 I think you would become a little uncomfortable having the animals. The animals, I think, are, are specifically yeah. the horses, would be spooked by this yeah. this rumbling. This, the, the ground is shaking underneath, and they're not not comfortable getting closer. Uh, is there so, like a little clearing or something that I could just kind of, you know, set yeah, the cart off to the side and moving away from moving yeah. away from this area? I mean, everything is is as normal. It's a big sort of um, fairly barren uh, area. I mean, there's bits of shrubs and stuff growing. It's not desolate, but it is. Uh, it, it's cold and dry and and kind of flat. Yeah. I'll make sure they have plenty of uh, food and water and what have you before we bounce. Okay, buddy, make sure you take care of McGillicuddy and Bonk here, okay? It's good. <laughs> what? Fahima, you all right? and Bonk. McGillicuddy and Bonk. Private Fahima. eyes. Fahima, you all right? You're being kind of quiet. Yeah. Um, she is staring out at the landscape, and she is quiet, um, kind of taking everything in and feeling the warmth of the air. Jeff, would you consider this part of Ein to be Pash? No. Okay. No. Pash is to you, the south. Pa Pash is to the south. The mountain range are called the Pash Mountains, uh, but you are, you know, if you look on the map, you're you're mm -hmm. far, you know, northwest yeah. of, of those mountains. So if this is this would not be considered Pash. No, you are still technically in Shazengao territory. I'm. I'm just. Um... I was thinking about one of the last, the last letter that my dad wrote me, and he said, um, you know, of course, do not come looking for me. It's the only place I know you're truly safe. Stay home. Uh, just thinking about how dangerous this is and wondering who's looking for me and if they're going to be here. I know, but also keep in mind that the girl that he wrote that letter to is not the woman here in front of me either. You're much stronger. Well, I've been throwing around ideas in my head. If I should, you know, shave my head, have Lily put me in an outfit that's not my own. Hmm. I don't know, look different, but I don't know that anything's really going to change who I am. We could change. always die. <laughs> what about the Phoenix? And uh, Meep is like... <laughs> Flying Look, next to her, huge. Me Meep, <laughs> Meep is a challenge. dead giveaway. Yes, yeah. <laughs> Meep is like the size of a mastiff now. You know? Oh god! <laughs> you know, big dog, big dog. Awkward yeah. teenagers. Yeah, <laughs> you're gonna get shoulder problems if she's perched on your shoulder very long. It would not be hard to pick any of us out in a crowd, yeah. except for maybe, maybe Lily. Demon, blue cat, <laughs> oil orc. <laughs> Celestial bear riding orc. <laughs> I, mean, I, just, I could look like just a regular old orc, though. I don't have to look so royal anymore. I mean, yeah, we make quite an impression, though. Yeah. Well, getting closer. Well, do I you am. just give me a wink and I'll shave your head. <laughs> Thank you. Um, the yeah. closer we get to this, the closer we get to discovering the truth about my dad and why he thinks that I might not want to talk to him anymore. And that's. There's just a lot going on in my head right now. There's a lot going on, and there's a lot at stake. So, mm -hmm. yeah, we need to be here. Hopefully, we've just beaten the Ashen Mage. On I the wouldn't way. be here with anyone else. Ditto. I don't know. Seems like maybe she might be here if my dad was screaming like that. I hope she is. Oh, gosh. We finally have a conversation. <laughs> Good luck. 
All right. Shall well, we? Remind me to uh, send Artie Duff's a fruit basket or something, because this map is going to be extremely helpful. <laughs> They're just going to turn it into tarts. <laughs> so that's, that's, you know, that's his business. He can do that, literally. That is his business. All right. Well, what e exactly are we looking for? Are we just going to go barreling into the chaos and try to find some sort of marker or... or I mean, spell. I, I Does it look like we can these, take the these symbols? Does it look like we can take the wagon across this terrain? No, no. that's why you guys we have to leave it. it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well. So you walk around the periphery of, of the of the of this terrain. It's shifting. It's it's slamming. It's colliding. These rock surfaces. It's so it's violent and it's it's terrifying, frankly. Uh, and you eventually reach the point where the map shows that a gate should be. It is still all of this chaos, all this rumbling, all of this roiling, shifting earth is still out in front of you. But if you're looking at this right, standing in this spot, based on your very skilled cartography uh, experience, Behemoth, the gate should be right out in front of you. But all you see is a huge shelf of rock jutting from the ground, shifting, cracking, opening. There! As a fissure in the stone opens up, you glimpse a glowing yellow ring hanging in the air. For the briefest of moments, you see this flat, shimmering disk of arcane energy hovering there at an angle waiting permanent and then it's gone the gap in the rock closes up slams together hiding the space behind it where the gate is positioned <laughs> so it's literally buried in roiling rock and earth yeah oh man look we, we've done some really kindness. stupid things before <laughs> but this is like this has got to be up there i mean we're talking top three and that includes sinking a ship and going down to the bottom of the ocean. Right. Doesn't beat the time we smashed a shell. Oh, <laughs> why do you got to bring that up? Because um, I li I think about it every day. <laughs> I know, I know. I'm sorry. Uh, so Jeff, I I have the belt. I wanna I wanna give it a shot. I'm gonna try using the belt to see if I can calm the roiling earth or like pull like a Noah and just kind of you know divide yeah. the earth and see right. if I can you know. All right, if you stand works. there and uh, wearing the belt and you close your eyes and you concentrate and the rest of you see the gemstone where the belt buckle is start to glow and see if you concentrate and focus on the rock in front of you. But using the belt here feels a little bit like spitting at a waterfall. <laughs> you concentrate and focus on moving the rock and stone but are completely overwhelmed by what feels like a more powerful force. The rock goes where it wants, despite your best efforts. So, <laughs> flying, maybe? Flying with the acceleration gate? Oh, did you even try? Do you want to give it a shot, Argo? It's no, not I, easy. I, I mean, I can imagine <laughs> it. Well, wait, Behima, how long did you see it for? Was there an opening in which we could sneak in? About six seconds-ish, maybe 12. <laughs> yeah. Did we all see it? Uh, I think you, if you were all staring at that spot, okay. you certainly would all see something kind of glowing yellow, uh, a, a ring hanging in the air. Is it one of those things where we can time it? There well, it as you as you and stand then... there and you continue to watch, <laughs> you notice that a single. Uh, you notice. Uh, oh, sorry, I'm reading the wrong section. <laughs> you notice mm -hmm. that it happens again. The violent undulation of the rock continues. And before long, once again, a small gap cracks open and you can see the gate blowing faintly. How big of a crack is it? Like gap? Not big. Oof. Big enough for one person at a time. In other yes. Words. Oof. How, when you cast arcane, when you cast uh, um, um, uh, acceleration gate for Hema, how long does the gate stay there? Um, let me pull it up. <clears throat> it stays for... One minute. One minute. Oh. How the thing is, is we have to go through it and then to another spot where we're looking for yet another gold ring to fly through, right? Yes. 
So that's why I was thinking we need to fly. Because right. when we get through on the other side, if it's doing this there, we're, we're just stuck. I can only keep us flying for 10 minutes, so I mean, we should know where we're going. Well, 10 minutes is better than one. True. Oh, well, part of that is also, uh, Fahima, do you have to concentrate on the gate? Well, these gates are existing here. I wouldn't, I'm not casting them, so. Oh. That's correct. You saw oh, an yeah. existing gate, a permanent oh! gate. Oh! I thought you had to cast something in order to use the gate. Oh. But to wait, to get there from here, we need, to, there is no gate right here, but what we're seeing, that golden thing, is, looks like. Gate. Yes, aha! Right. Okay. Yeah, okay. and it's being eaten up by all the rock and dirt, and then there's an so opening. You're standing there and you're watching this stone surface crack open and, and and for a split second you see a gate hovering there and then it closes back up mm -hmm. and roils and shifts and slams together and bits of uh stone rock jutting out spiking up breaking open again and then there it is and then it closes back up how far so is the this gate is... from us uh, 30 feet maybe 20 feet you, okay. you, you, you could take a running start at it okay so this is uh what i think we should do i'll go Yep. Would you mind being the guinea pig for this? Not at all. I was already about to get ready to run. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm thinking, perhaps what's needed here is the first arcane gate. Oh, I think I could jump there. Sorry? I think I could jump to that one. I just you have think? to time it right. Oh yeah. Thirty feet. Look, look, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not yeah. worried about getting to the first one. That's not a problem. What the issue is is once we get through. We're going to be standing in the middle of this in theory. That's why I was thinking flying is best because we could at least hover above the tumult, right? Maybe. What's the point of going through the gate if we fly but it's over? In it. the tumult, because I, yeah. I think the gate will. I think no. You fly over. You fly through the gate. Then you pop out on the other side. Then we have to get to another one, right? Uh, right. There's multiples of these. You fly Unless... up. You look for the other gate. You go to that one. I'll right. go. I can fly. I can. I can fly, and I'll. I'll. I'll cast it on three of us. But I'll go first, and then. But you. The rest stay back. So in case something happens to well, me and concentration ends. No, you hold on. We shouldn't plan on a plan that yeah. separates us all. I think this is a bad idea. I think that's unfortunately what has to happen. But I don't think so. I think we go through this gate and then we figure it out because we don't know. And also, no, if you're casting down. fly, you should not be the first one to go. Because if you Correct. get hurt on the other side, then the rest of us can't fly anymore. And what do we do? Plummet to the floor again. <laughs> well, look, <laughs> right, I'm not that. so sure that, that what... I think that's one theory, Siv. Mm -hmm. But I think that it's also possible that my dad, or whomever, set this up so that... It's sort of, that you know, have you heard of the game, the sort of the, the, the ping pong game that villagers play sometimes Table tennis. you, you yes. shoot through the first one and you immediately go through the next one and the next one and the next one that's not just how i remind that i'm from Wolfsvatch. we do not play the ping pong sorry no, i don't know we call ping pong something else no. in Thailand. So i don't know what that is knives we that's play a lot of ping pong <laughs> <laughs> sometimes orcs try to kill more than one goblin with one arrow and communist Wolfsvatch. ping pong you <laughs> so, are you saying you want to set up a gate and then have me run through it into the other gate? Uh, well, so, sorry, one second. Jeff, does that check out what FEMA just said? Are they close enough that they, you could shoot through a series of them to, to an end point? I think that would be unclear to you on this map. There's it, it, The scale is not precise enough for you to be able to judge that. Okay. All right, but... So, Wait, what's the, what you're seeing on the map? Uh, you know, you're seeing this drawing of sort of rock formations and you're seeing uh you know these little circles that look like gates they're marked as gates uh, and you're seeing a, a number of them uh the first one where you're standing and then another one sort of inside the area that looks uh, ahead of you all right we don't know well, exactly how far apart they are or any of that you know do we have any idea where that if we get to that gate where the next gate past it is I think that you you have a sense that there is another gate that is relatively close to this gate. Yes. And please describe how. Are, are, I feel like the acceleration gates were described as like literally only one person could go through them at nope, a time. They're ten feet acceleration. Oh, ten feet. 10 feet. Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay, great. The, the acceleration gates can be. Yes. Okay. Uh, Fahima's going to start it's casting. The that's the problem. <clears throat> Fahima's going to start casting a gargoyle. Hmm. That's an idea. To put him through. 
<clears throat> oh, so she just sits down and starts casting? Mm-hmm. Uh, well, uh, uh, um, okay. It's not uh, about, not conjuring, about conjuring a friend to oh. uh, to go through first. I mean, this is what they're made for, honestly. It's a good idea. Yeah. Friend feels like a generous term in that situation. <laughs> we shouldn't think of it as a friend in case something really <laughs> terrible happens in the next few minutes. Bartholomew is his name. <laughs> I'll go. What? No, fine. She's making a you're friend. Do, you're doing Friends conjure minor elemental? Is that what you're doing? Conjure what? You're doing conjure what? Uh, yeah, conjure minor elemental. Yeah, she's gonna. She'll pull up a, a gargoyle. Also, if we all get through this first gate and then realize we're stuck, we can then fly then, right? There's no yeah. reason to preemptively do that. I'm assuming that Fima's dad. Well, if she's trying to cast a spell in the middle of that, good luck. It only right. casts. It only takes one minute, so she should be done. Right. Pretty soon here. I right. I did also ask you a question, Fima. Does Arcane Gate require concentration? Acceleration Gate or Arcane Gate? Oh, excuse me, Acceleration Gate. It does not. Ooh. Okay. Good to know. Hmm. Okay. As far as I can tell. Lasts for a minute, but no concentration. So you could do well, more. Has you been here for a time. while, or do we just get happen to get here in a minute? That looks permanent. Which I think hmm. didn't Artie Duffs tell us that that uh, Conroy had been working on something to make them permanent. Well, permanent then he would also C. include permanency. It That's seems like maybe permanency. it seems like maybe then you could just get there, right? Do, do you need to fly in order to do that? Would I mean, I include that as the part of it. I, I don't think we need to fly One to get... more time from the top. <laughs> I am not concerned about getting to the first golden ring gate. It no, is I once know. we get past it in the inside. Right. When we're, we're dealing with the sea of this and we're right. standing there and we're trying to look around looking for another golden ring. Right. It's going to be very difficult. If we're flying, right. we can just hover up and look around and it's very gentle and very safe. If we're yeah. standing in the middle of it, it will hurt. Uh, yeah. Right. I just okay. think that maybe Conroy probably figured that out and probably prevent, you know, like set that up so you don't necessarily always have to have fly spell, but maybe flying he does. is a good safety net, though. <laughs> okay, the gargoyle is here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to save you a spell slot. I do appreciate it. Thank you. You're so welcome. the the gargoyle appears, and it is a um, we've seen this before. It's a medium creature. It's pretty big. It's the size of us. And Hello. Hema will get up from her cross-legged position <laughs> and. <laughs> Uh, get up on her tippy toes and whisper in the gargoyle's ear. Its name is Barbalamio. <laughs> you see the gargoyle turn and look at the solid surface of stone. All right, uh, are you are you gonna cue it to to move forward? Like, go. Yes, I shoe it forward. All right, ro and, roll uh, roll an intelligence check. <laughs> You have advantage from too Goofus smart McDorkle. It's going to be like, I ain't going in there. <laughs> it's like, you, mm, uh -uh. Mm -hmm. you see it do math in its head for a moment and just go. <laughs> yeah, you like, honestly ooh. probably want a low intelligence check. Because it's like, <laughs> it's got a like, negative okay. two. Yeah. Hey, it's dumber than me. <laughs> oh, but I rolled very high. Uh, no, 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 no. This is your intelligence, right? not it's your intelligence. This is an intelligence check for Fahima. Great. Okay, so... I rolled a 19 plus five. Okay, so Fahima, you're staring at you're staring at this. You're holding your you have your hand on the the shoulder of this gargoyle that's like huffing and puffing. It's 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 eyes beady and staring, obedient, waiting for instruction. And you're watching this opening and closing, opening and closing. And at a certain point. You tap the back, the shoulder of the gargoyle, and it starts running forward. And just as it reaches the the wall, it opens up in front of it, and it goes through. And you hear, <laughs> and do we see where it went? No. I'll send Mr. Whispers up and see if he can spot a gargoyle getting tossed. Yeah, again, around. you know, as as Mr. Whispers goes up, he just sees roiling, shifting rock formations. There's, yeah, it's nothing. That was a good experiment. <laughs> I feel comfortable going now. <laughs> Me too. Oh, okay. I, I I did tell him to try to find his way back. Well, it might be hard to get through the gate back through. I build one way direction. Meep, can you fly up and? breathe some fire and people fly up and whoosh, kind of mark our spots yeah there's a big burst of flame in the sky me you know can communicate images to you as well again it, what you're seeing again from above 
is mountains, hills, shifting, moving. Well, this seems kind of like the only option. Trust. What Gargoyle did. Bartholomew? Yeah, Bartholomew is his name. Its name. The patron saint. Bartholomew flew. (laughs) Through that gate. I'll go first. No, 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 no! Okay. I'll go wants to go first. Okay. Okay. It's just no one was going, and I feel like we should keep no, moving. I was not going we because go everybody together? else seemed like they needed to make sure that it was okay before I'll go go. We can't go together. Is, yeah, it's not a good idea. I'll go's been waiting five minutes now. Okay, I'll go. Do you want me to push you in like Kima <laughs> pushed the gargoyle in? No, I, I'm not very good at timing things. Could someone tell me when to go? Okay. Yeah, okay. Ready? Okay, I'm think... ready. You just let me know when. I got you, buddy. All right. All right. Who, who's, who's letting him know? Is Lily? Or... Oh, James can do it. It's okay. Okay, I'll do it. You have okay. Roll me an intelligence check. Okay. You have advantage from Z-Man ninety eighteen, countered by Grim Faded. Thank you, Z-Man and Grim Faded. I will guide myself. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And just straight intelligence. You said Mm twenty one. Okay. So, I'll go. Mm -hmm. You stand there with James's hand on your shoulder, just like Bartholomew Mm -hmm. and Fahima. I hope James, all... you focus you focus on that movement, that cracking, that undulation, that shifting and morphing. Ready? And you think that you've got the timing down and you tap Ready? Ugo on his shoulder and Ugo, you run toward that craggy shifting stone wall at full speed. It seems like you're gonna slam face first into solid rock, but at the last possible second, the surface breaks and cracks open a hole ripped into the side of thick granite. You barrel through dust and dirt in your eyes, the entire mountain shaking around you. And as you pass through the fissure, you hit the acceleration gate at full speed. The rest of you, the rest of you hear that sound just as the rock closes up behind Ugo. Oh gosh. Ugo. You feel your body pulled in a completely different direction as you're catapulted up and out and over. The rush of speed is intense and exhilarating. You're flung into the mountain as crumbling rock breaks and shatters around you. You fly through the air, eyes wide, seeing the rock walls shifting and reforming on either side. A corridor of thick stone just happens to be breaking open at this moment. This brief window allowing you a clear path through a solid surface, crunching, shifting slabs pass in front of you, slamming from one side to another, narrowly missing your face. The cold air rips at you for a moment. The sky opens up above, just a brief glimpse, a crevice revealing clouds and blue, but it quickly slams closed, shutting you inside. You come down with a thud. Roll me a dexterity saving throw, please. Straight roll as far as I'm concerned. All right. Straight roll. Nope. Wow, 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 that wow. That is a six. <laughs> oh, no. Go ahead and make a new character. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you take uh, 13 points of bludgeoning damage, uh, and you land... Fox hit the rock, oh, bang, bangs into your shoulder. Ah! You come down with this this slam onto a small shelf of stone, a small cliff, dozens of feet inside the morphing crag. And for a moment, you're unsteady. Everything is still moving violently all around you. You're standing in the epicenter of an earthquake. Stone shards breaking apart over and around you, falling, reconnecting with other surfaces, a roiling agitation of rock and stone. Even the cliff that you're standing on is moving and shifting. But somehow, miraculously, the shelf does not disappear. It only shifts in size. And the gap you're in does not close up. You're tucked into a little pocket of safety inside the maelstrom. I knew it. And in front of you, (laughs) in front of you, 
last Bartholomew. <laughs> is a gargoyle. <laughs> oh, Bartholomew! <laughs> Standing next to a faintly glowing arcane ring. Oh, ah! sick! Oh, hey, yes. Bartholomew? It, it just stands there, motionless, looking at you. The rest of you uh, have no awareness of any of this that happened. You just saw a go go in, you hear what? And the thing closes up just like ha it happened with the gargoyle. Okay, that seemed uh, to go as planned. I don't know, did it? Well, we're trying to go through the gate. Right? Oh, we keep throwing th people through this portal and it just, I mean, they're just disappearing. Man, I wish I had a message. Still. I'm not metagaming at all, and I think James would cast Sending. <laughs> I, mean, I would I mean, cast I Sending to Ungo. I mean, yeah. That wasn't the plan going in. I don't know what you're <laughs> yeah. thinking. Ungo! Okay. Oh, oh, are, yeah, yeah. are you all right? Ungo, are you all right? Oh, I'm being torn apart! Oh, <laughs> I was wrong! Siv was right! I don't you believe you. Fly. Definitely not Siv. Are you all right? You only have 25 I'm words. Fine. <laughs> right I'm fine. Okay. He's okay. He's he's fine. Okay. You said you don't believe him? Well, he was trying to act as if he was being torn asunder. Uh, it's... Oh, he was sarcastic fine? He's very fine. He's very fine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, um, I who regret wants to go teaching next? him sarcasm. I yeah, really yeah, do. we really. I, I think that was a huge. <laughs> I mistake. have any regrets. He from loves this it. Entire adventure. It's loves teaching it, yeah. Ugo sarcasm. Lily, do you want to go together? <laughs> Can we fit together? Uh, Can we? It would be tough. Uh, Lily is a small creature, so Lily's uh, also you may not be able as fast work. as us. She's a little slower. Jeff, the other ring is just right here, right? So, like, mm -hmm. you literally jump in it. You don't have to time it or anything. Correct. Okay. I'll go, I'll go with you. I'll go through it. If it feels like Lily and Fima can do it together, but if does that feel like the opening is too small? So, Ugo, you, you said you're going to go through it? Put, no, I pushed the gargoyle through it. Okay. <laughs> oh! It's what you're made for, Bartholomew! You push the gargoyle through it, and you see it go flat, and it goes flying up and slams into solid rock oh. and, and falls down. Oh, got to time it. Okay. Time it. Glad I did that. Um... <laughs> All right, Misery well, acquaints a man with strange bedfellows. Yeah. You know? uh, Fahima, you you're instantly damage? aware. You're instantly aware. Somehow, your your concentration on this creature has ended. Wait, I killed it. He has 52 hit points. Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, it, it 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 hit this thing and fell and landed uh. it and was swallowed up by this uh, uh, maelstrom. Is there enough room uh. on this platform for all of us? Do, does Ugo think there's enough room for everyone? Yeah, the platform itself is still shifting and moving, but right. there does seem to be enough. I mean, it'll be a little cramped, but, but it does seem like you, everybody would be able to land there. Yeah. Okay, okay. I made my Shakespeare reference, and I don't think anybody got it. Yeah, I'm thinking Twelfth Night. Say, what, did wait, you say? what did you say? Or, say by the bard? I said, oh, I didn't say by the bard. By the bard. Misery acquaints a man with strange bedfellows. Mm. Mm. I can make it a guess, like but Midsummer. I don't know. Misery. Twelfth Night or Midsummer is my guess, and I don't know which. Macbeth. <laughs> no. <laughs> my guess. My guess. Really Mary Wise the Windsor. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh! Wait, 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 wait. No, God, no. Okay, Jared, I'll do one. You do that. Uh, Twelfth Night. Right. Jeff, nothing. I think it's Merchant of Venice. You're all wrong. It's the it's the Tempest. Oh. <laughs> oh. I did that one. I did that play. It's a good one. All right, so hard, goodness. man. They're they're well, very not done. Kind of yeah. similar. I need to say by the bard. Okay, yes. Yeah. Pretty sure it's from the Scottish play. <laughs> I'm gonna okay. curse us all. Wait. So, uh, so Jeff Fahima and Lily kind of are scoping out. If it looks like going together is a bad idea. It's thirty feet ahead and. Uh, I mean, I think you could do it if you if you took you know took the dash action. I think you could get through. Right. You could probably Let's do get it together. Okay, high five and uh, run. Jeff, Ugo is going to look the direction that he came and just yeah. hold an action <laughs> to try to catch someone me, when like... they come through. All right. <laughs> so what you see it, the, again? Hopefully, you guys can imagine this in your mind's eye because Ugo, what you are, you are in this tiny pocket, this little safe hole in the middle of a mountain that is shifting and moving around you. And you see from whence you came, it is it is a uh, solid rock that cracks open briefly for a brief moment. And you can see deep within it, but then it, you know, things shift and move, spikes drop down. I mean, not, you know, spikes, right, but like right. crags of rock, sharp. It, it is a harrowing tunnel through which you plummeted. But there is just a split second when it completely opens up. 
Wow. All right, Vim, are you ready? I cast Guidance on Lily. Let's do it. All right. Okay. Who is initiating the move? I I can because I already sent my gargoyle through successfully, so that feels mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. you have an I idea. I follow your lead, Vahima. This is your dad. Okay, situation. roll an intelligence <laughs> check. Okay. You have advantage oh, from... I cast Guidance on Fahima. Useless <laughs> blueprint. Thank you. Jeff, I'm going to pick up a handful of rocks since this is only 30 feet away, and I'm going to start trying to time it where I'm going to huck the rock right when I think the the ring is going to be there. Roll me an intelligence check. I'll go. Keeps Uh, getting it. Yeah, you have have advantage from Goofus McDonald. Not yet, Sim. I mean, not yet, I go. Not yet, I go. That is what will happen. I got a 23. All right. Uh, So what did you get, Siv? Uh, Intelligence, 16. 16. So it takes a couple of tries, but eventually you get one that goes through. And uh, Ugo, you're standing there waiting, holding, and you see this this rock. Of... <laughs> 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 that was weird. If you'd not tweeted it, it would have landed in your mouth. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It would have been like uh, Home Alone or something. Like... <laughs> all right. So, Fahima, you Ow. grab Lily's hand uh, down here, mm-hmm. and the two of you. Get ready, and you're you know you're timing it like uh, uh, double Dutch, right? You know, very weird. Uh, and one, two, three, and you rush forward, uh, Lily. You running, dashing alongside of your, your little Extra legs, fast. going as fast as you can. And again, it feels like you're gonna run into the solid rock face just as it cracks open ahead of you, and you fall in, tumbling into this acceleration gate which yanks you the other way flinging you across you see rocks passing by your face this incredible passageway Stim, stop barely the rocks. Opening up. i mean even as you're moving the the rocks seem completely solid ahead of you and they crack open it's like the undulation is just perfectly matched perfectly timed to get you and as you come through i'll go roll me a dexterity Huh. Saving throw. You have a straight roll as far as I'm concerned. This is like all of us acting like we're on the bridge of the Enterprise getting hit with photon <laughs> torpedoes. Ooh. This one's much better. 18. So you, uh, Fahima and Lily right behind her come in and you oh. kiss one with one arm, one with the other arm, and you've got both of them. Oh. Uh, you guys oh. are landing, standing there inside this strange, small oh. crevice inside solid rock. The the surfaces of the walls shifting and moving all around you, but somehow this little pocket of air undisturbed. Oh. Fahima, I'm sorry, oh. I killed Bartholomew. <laughs> That's why we don't name them. <laughs> yeah. Well, just um, be careful about um, going through this next gate um, because um, it, it, we it's gonna you gotta have to time it. Sorry to interrupt, but I think there's gonna be two more people coming oh, yeah, through that very soon, so we should we should prepare. Siv, are you ready? Out the way. I'd like you to go first so I can cast guidance on you. <sighs> what? What are you worried about? Talk to me. No, I mean, what what am I going to say at this point? Uh. I, I, I have like two two more rocks and I'm just gonna time those as well yeah. just to make sure. And yeah. then when I get when I get uh, like a rhythm going, I'll beeline it. I mean All even right. if even if we were flying, I think I think we would still need to get, you know, catapulted or whatever it's doing to us. Who's throwing the rocks? Cause uh <laughs> I've almost got hit three times now. Not me. <laughs> well clearly not you, you're here. Okay, well, you asked us. Well, do you know who? I think it was Siv. Oh. Siv He's I... using it as a strategy. Yeah, it makes sense. Uh, roll me a, uh, an intelligence check. You have advantage from Angel Devilson. And because of your rock throwing, I'll have the DC be much lower. Because cool. you've kind of got... You know, kitties like to bat stuff around with their hands before they sink their teeth into <laughs> it. So it makes sense. He seemed maybe skeptical of our plan to just yeah. go for it. Yep. That's why I... I'm glad this he is sarcasm. intelligence? Yes. Oof. Do I have guidance? Uh, I mean, you're just tossing rocks. Uh, no, no I'm tossing rocks to get now. the timing down and then running. <laughs> okay, okay. As, you're run, as you're running, yes. I, yeah, as you're getting ready to run, I would definitely cast guidance on you. Have your inspiration, Ten. Yeah, bar, 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 bar it up. Ten. Oh, true. Uh, peace. I hate the word as I hate hell, all Montagues, and thee. Have uh, a coward. Romeo Tibble. Juliet. Romeo and Juliet. Romeo Juliet. Yes, very good. John um, Leguizamo. <laughs> you throw the you throw the character names in there. I, I can get. It's also my favorite quote. 
Um, <laughs> is it a D6, D8? What am I? Uh, I'll say D10. Ooh, wow. Ooh. You're very generous. Ooh. I mean, Montague's That was like the away, easiest but... one. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I feel like D6 is, you know... Uh, yeah. Romeo, Romeo, yeah. wherefore, wherefore are... out there running? Oh, all the, all the, uh, all the, all the uh, so no not the target. What the, sure, what sure, actual sure. phrase they use? Got Nineteen it. with the the plus plus nine from the D ten from the Shakespeare. All right, you run through again, and you hit that acceleration. You get the same kind of thing happens just as you're about to hit. You almost cringe because you're about to slam into solid rock. It opens up. You hit that gate. You feel your body flung. You're twisting and turning in the air. Your feline grace uh, rights you as you're kind of tumbling with acrobatic grace. But it looks like you're about to hit some. It breaks open just in front of you. While you're barreling through this crazy tunnel, this crevasse breaking open and reforming behind you as you go, and you land boom, boom, boom onto the ground. Roll me a dexterity My saving eight. throw. Uh, again, I, I went back to like wait. Oh, for okay. I'm sorry. So 18 is my next day. All right. So uh, Ugo catches you, Siv, as you uh, cool. land on this strange ledge. You see three of your companions uh, already there. Uh, it is it is loud. It rumbles. You're in the in the center of this incredible movement that's all around you. But somehow, this spot seems to be safe. The ledge that you're on moving slightly, raising up a bit, but yeah. seems to be fairly constant. Behemoth, does Pike mean rocks. trustworthy? No. No. <laughs> Wait, not. What did you say, Siv? I brought a handful of rocks for the next one. It was you throwing them. Oh, okay. It means, it means scholar. Oh, I, well, I clearly can't trust in Conroy. Uh, and Jeff, for the sake of argument, I would have dismissed uh, uh, Mr. Whispers into the pocket plane and then... Um, that way he can come with me. Okay. I'll yeah. go. Sorry yeah. to do this again, but I have a feeling James is coming very soon. You might want to Oh, yeah, I got yourself. him. I'll I just... got him. While oh. he's waiting for James, I'm timing, trying to time the next gate with the pebbles. Okay, so you start uh, this other glowing, hovering gate right in front of you, angled differently than the one that you just came through. It, it, it seems strange. It's like a disc, a circular disc of arcane energy, this yellow glowing surface that is kind of tilted on its axis much differently than the one that you saw that you flung yourself through. Uh, and as you look, uh, you know, you follow the line and you toss the rock, and you see a, another uh, section of rock that is moving violently up ahead and you toss a rock into it. It flings up, bang, 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 bounces off and falls down. Another one gets crunched between to the two sides as they come together, they reform bits of dust falling from where the rock was squished. Uh, you keep doing that, trying to time it, trying to get your bearings on when the opening is going to be sufficiently deep to, to travel through. Okay. Alas, poor Balathal of you, I knew him well. <laughs> <laughs> James well is like, okay, all right, go on, Quillis, come on. You never were an athlete, but uh, now's your chance, I guess. All right, here we go. Um, I'll cast Guidance on myself and give it a shot. All right, you have a straight roll as far as I'm concerned. Okay. Intelligence, check. <gasps> Net 20! <laughs> oh! Don't die. You run forward, whoom, whoom, whoom. Just as the, you know, your, your demon eyes focused, your wings back and uh streamlined you move and for just the briefest of seconds your feet don't even touch the ground you are hovering through that that crevice that briefest of openings that giant crack in the solid rock and as you hit the gate boom, you are sucked the other direction flung and you turn in the air and point yourself forward, a demon rocketing like a superhero, straight arms back, wings tucked, just <laughs> cutting your way through this rock as it peels back in front of you, moving, I'll go right into your hands, your dexterity save. Do I drop Nine. or do my, do my <laughs> wings catch me? Uh, I mean, you're kind of soaring on them. You feel the wind underneath them, but they're kind of peeled back and you're streamlined for speed. I and feel like they all into just, Uggo. Boom. Yeah. Huh. All of a sudden, the demon flying so fast. Uggo's yeah, like, exactly. Ah! Barrel into Uggo. Uggo, you, 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 he hits you square in the chest, knocking you back and rolling, almost falling off the ledge. Oh! This 
huge. Oh, Lily will like underneath. reach forward and grab like she's gonna do any good holding them. <laughs> <on>. <laughs> All right. Uh, roll me a dexterity saving throw, uh, Lily. You have an advantage from um, Hadrian X countered by Grim Faded. Hard to catch okay, okay, goth okay. Superman. <laughs> yeah. bum, 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 bum. Uh, but I got a 23. All right. Oh. Hey, grab both of them. Uh, it pulls Lily slightly because you're Ooh. much smaller than they, but you manage to hang on. Bits of rock and stone crumbling off the edge, falling deep. You must have flown up quite a ways because there is a deep valley below you that is again writhing and swirling the rock breaking apart cracking you see bits of gargoyle there caught between the rocks below oh mm -hmm. thank you lily good catch sure. okay you guys have to stand up first or else yeah, i'm gonna yeah, fall yeah. Oh, yeah, okay yeah, yeah. lily immediately falls on her back because <laughs> she had so much momentum on them you hurt james no no i'm, I'm, I'm all right thank you thank you okay um wow Siv's timing the next one. Is everyone all right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't feel like we can fly. No, Siv, like you eventually get me. into a you rhythm where you're you're throwing a rock in it. You see it, and it zooms up just as again this fissure breaks apart, rock breaking and and reforming below it, and the the pebble goes out of sight. Siv, if you go first, I can cast sending to you without spell slots. Maybe you should go first. All right. Yeah. Good idea. I'm sorry. I I keep thinking about. No, you took me out of your book. Did I? Siv doesn't know that, but you did. Jared knows that. I thought I put it back. Oh, no, for Lily. No. You took me out and put somebody else in. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. I will have to double check on that. Uh, okay. I'll go lays his hand on himself and heals himself. <laughs> I will get Siv. Okay. Be careful, Siv, and I'll give you bardic inspiration. Sweet. The real bardic inspiration. I know. Yeah. <laughs> you, know uh, you, don't, you don't have to quote anything at me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, Siv, so another intelligence check. Uh, you have advantage from Angel Devilson 1. Okay. Siv? Perhaps if you have the timing down, you should hang back to help us all through. If you want me to. Either way is fine by me. That's not a bad point. I figure if anybody makes a mistake, they're just going to be a wet smear across one of these rocks. All right, let me know when I do. Okay, well, hold on. Somebody say wet smear. You all are my favorite wet smears, and I give you all bardic inspiration. Oh, wow. Hooray. Thank you, Lily. Yay. D10, D10 right? D10. Right. Yep, yep D10. And that's all but you can't, today. But you can't inspire yourself, can you? Oh, no, it's okay. I, I'll give them to you. All right. Right, but you have to go through at some point. I know. So. But it, I, you know, I think the way we just did it worked out pretty good. So we should just yeah. continue to do what we were doing. Yeah. Don't change mm -hmm. it. Don't fix what ain't broken. Okay, I'll go. If you're ready, I'll fix go me with if I'm again. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Be clear. I'll fix guide you. Broken. Got good it. job. Just let me know when to go. All well, right. I'll tell you the timing, and I'll right. just count. I'll just count down. Once I get to zero and not zero and then go. It's right at zero. Go on zero. Got go it. on zero. Got yes. it. So orcs do it too. Yeah. Great. Three, two, one, zero, negative one. No, James, don't do that. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Wait, there's a negative one? <laughs> no, oh boy, that's a long James, conversation. James, James, James. <laughs> nope. All right, this time I'll go roll me a dexterity check. Ooh. You have disadvantage from Grim Faded. Yikes. Oh. I guided I'll go. Oh, you guys and, me and your well? DC is a little bit lower because of the timing thing. Whoa. And you have Bardic Inspiration. Whoa. There's a lot of dice. So many dice. Except one of them. You can you can save bardic. the Bardic for right? Bardic. bardic. Oh, yeah. Okay. yeah, you can save it. Not one. Oh dude. Not one. Dude. I, I was joking about the wet smear and making a new character, but <laughs> not, not one you don't even one. make it in the portal. <laughs> <laughs> right. You run toward the portal and trip and you fall forward and you hit the portal and you, boom, you, you start tumbling. Oh, ah! You Can I reach hit no. boom, the side bah, bah, as you go. Bah. The timing, because again, this was not an intelligence check. This was the dexterity check. The timing is right. The opening, Siv has figured out the, the timing and you guys have gone through this once already, but it's a clumsy maneuver, and Uggo, you're hit, pa, 
Ooh. Ah, you're going at such Ooh. high speed. Wham, wham. You take. It's a lot of dice. It's a lot of dice. 27 points of bludgeoning damage. Holy Whoa. Bah, bah, bah. You land coom, on the ground. Boof. Again, a small pocket, a uh, the undulation, the cracking and reforming of things all around you. Uh, you land with, with a thud. Ah, you, you feel a, a crack in your shoulder, scraped and bruised from hitting uh, almost every surface as you flew. Uh, but again, there's another circular golden ring in front of you. <laughs> this is like a bad version of Sonic the Hedgehog. I mean, we're, we're, we're not yeah. fast. I have been it's, not that it's, more like a, it's more like a thin disc of yeah. arcane energy. It's not. Uh, so what just happened is I hit a bunch of stuff and gold just went everywhere. Yeah. 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 Ting, ting, yeah. ting, ting, ting. Yeah. Uh, nightmare right there. Uh, if that was badly... just, just laying on the ground and. Did everyone see him bounce off <laughs> yeah, that was... of every possible rock on the <laughs> yeah. way over there? Lily, yeah. maybe you should go next, because if that went as poorly as it looked, he might need some healing. Yeah. Uh... Wait, Fima, do you want to go together again, or should I go by my own? Um, let's go together. Careful. Okay. All right. Uh, so I'll I'll uh, guide Fahima. I'll go lazy. All right. Himself and says, Thank you. Okay. Yeah, you we have seem... to make individual dexterity checks for this. That's yeah? right. Yeah, yeah, you seem to have the timing down, but you're going to need to get through. Uh, so, Fahima, you have advantage from the Cosmic Lord, and Lily, you have thank advantage you, from Cosmic. Hadrian X. Oh, thank God. <laughs> oh, dexterity, dexterity. Uh, a dexterity, oh, no. Is it a dexterity save or check? Check. Check. Check, 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 check. check. Right. Use, use Lily's Bardic Inspiration. All right, oh, yeah. That's yeah, that's true. Oh, we'll prepare yes. for the next person to come, Jeff. I roll a 10. All right. I'm the, uh, the I... holding his ribs. Like, well, he laid him hands on himself. Oh, you laid hands on him. That was okay, well, helpful. Okay. Over, it more than doubled my roll. Wow. So I have now I have a dirty 20. Okay. What did you I get? I 17. Lily? I feel like that's enough. Yeah. <laughs> Is that how you feel? <laughs> Is that how you feel, Lily? Okay. Yeah, I feel like actually... that's enough. <laughs> by the way, Jeff, Katie's, I, by the way, Jeff, Katie's running enough. this game now. Did you just, just cast suggestion on me? <laughs> it worked. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so you both uh, again timing it uh, the way the you know, understanding now the sort of the physics of how this works and seeing how. Siv has timed the the rock tosses. You both rush forward at the and rush into this thing, and boom, you are flung again through this crazy cavern as it's shifting and breaking apart. Uh, these these movements of rock and stone slamming in front of you, and you move your bodies through. It's it's a, actually a tighter fit this time. It's more perilous. Uh, there are things shooting down that you have to barely you know, avoid with actually guiding your body shifting your form through the through the flight through the being flung uh and uh you land boom. i go give me that dexterity saving throw am i a disadvantage or regular uh you have disadvantage from grim faded countered by references needed thank nice. you references needed thank you grim faded leaving it up to one die roll do it ooh that is 18 plus three. So okay. 21. 21. Yeah. So you, again, catch them. Boom, you catch both of them as they land. Boom. Uh, all of you uh, aware that this time it seemed like the the gap, the, the portal, the tunnel through which you were flung even tighter, uh, uh, the window of, uh, of safety even smaller. Okay, maybe next time we don't go together, Fahima. <laughs> Not that I didn't love that, but... Ugo, are you okay? Uh, yeah, I'm fine. You're bleeding pretty bad on the side of your face. Oh, no, that's dried. <laughs> it's gone. See, flakes off. Candle queen. Okay. Hands. Make feel better. Okay. All right, Siv. I oh, did I... hit a bunch of walls, though. Are you sure you want to go... <laughs> are you sure you want to go last? I mean, this way I can guide you and then guide myself. All right. I mean, you're very dexterous. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, you go. Fair enough. Go ahead. All right, Siv, you have advantage from the Carson. This is intelligence or dex? This is dex, dex. this time, right? Dex. Yep. Guidance. I'll go Thank turn you, to prep for another person to jump through. <laughs> <laughs> do, do, do. 
Starting at catcher. Wow. Mago <laughs> truth seeker. Uh, <laughs> so I, I have that advantage. Um, so... You look hurt. No, not at all. I look oh, okay. completely healed. He, he did lay on hands on himself. 22. I didn't hear you do that. 22. Okay, again, you leap through, manage to avoid all of the perils, all of the, uh, the jagged rock that's moving and shifting all around you. Uh, land in Uggo's arms. Uggo, what did you get? Aww. Aww. You have a straight roll. Eight. Princess Pride. Eight again. <laughs> As you try to catch Siv, boom. Uh, oh. Siv, you land on your feet, but Uggo, you fall back. Oh. And you land on the ground in a, in a heap. Uh, you, you take a point of damage just like landing on you. <laughs> this is why I'm here. <laughs> okay. All right, James, you're up. Yeah, yeah. Right, is well, there another the gold paper. ring? Do I need to start getting the timing on that? Wow. Yeah, there is a gold ring. There is okay. another gold ring. In fact, there'll be two more, but I think by this point, uh, all of you have the uh, situation down. We'll see how James goes through this. I won't make you guys all roll for the ne next two. Trust. Trust, Quillis. Here we go. Oh, wait. Uh, advantage. You have advantage. advantage from references needed, James. Thank you, references needed. Very kind. Oh, that's a cock. 14? You do scrape <clears throat> against uh, the the wall as you go, and you take ah. seven points of slashing damage as your Ouch. arm scrapes against uh, w one of the side walls. Mm -hmm. But, uh, I'll go, what, what is your... Ooh, 20, dirty. All right, so if I'll go catches you <clears throat> uh, a bit of uh, blood on your on your arm as you land, but it's you again are red in... or black. It's, black. it's very dark. I think very we've dark. I think we've established that it's it's pretty yeah. dark at this point. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, thank you. Oh, okay. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm all right. It's just come, a, come here. Come a here. scrape. Oh no no no. I, okay. I just do cure wounds at level one. Oh, thank you. There's no need work? to go into. Yeah, does it work? Yeah, it does. <laughs> I'm not I'm not going to do that to you guys. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> love you. Love that. you, Morgan. Love you, Morgan. I'm a warlock. <laughs> I'm not crazy. <laughs> I roll terrible, so you only take five points of healing. That's, that's, that's thank you. Thank you. It's not nothing. All right. Not nothing. So, the, uh, so it goes, uh, as you guys dial this in and you get, you get more familiar two more times. <laughs> Everybody, boom, 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 the same order, the same process, catching, uh, trying to, uh, uh, survive this process, but now you've kind of got it down. Uh, mistakes much less likely to happen. And you finally land on an outcropping with no glowing acceleration gate. You are extremely deep into the terrain at this point. It seems to be the last spot or the, you know, you've gone through the last marked gate on the map as well. And the shifting and deformation of the mountain of earth above and around you is still happening, but you seem to be insulated from the worst of it here. The rumbling and shifting feels more distant, like you're in an interior shell. There is no gate and no clear way forward. A dead end. You've been flung through a tiny hole in the ground that closed up behind you, and now you're in a small enclosed space. Overhead. Up ahead is only more stone. Everybody roll me a perception check, please. Ooh, okay. See so if you have advantage from Kitty Scritches. If Fahima, you have advantage cool. from Sweet Child of Ayn. James, okay. straight roll. I'll go straight roll. Lily, advantage from Hadrian X. Oh, Thank you, Hadrian X. Bad. Uh, I got a 15. I got an 18. All right, Ugo, you are the first to notice. Uh, Lily, you also noticed that the rock face in front of you does not seem to be shifting like everything else. Hmm. This pocket, like the previous landing spots, remains relatively safe, even as walls and edges of the space around you crack and morph and move. But directly in front of you is constant, like the Cromlech stone was outside. Uh, I'll go roll me a survival check. Okay. Uh, you have a straight roll as far as I'm concerned. And Lily, roll me an Arcana check. You have advantage from Hadrian X. 
That Thank is you, Adrian S. Survival to 22. Oops. Okay. Um, sorry, one sec. Never roll Arcana. Oh, I got a 22. Okay. I feel like that should be enough. <laughs> also, February 2nd in, tw- in 2022. Hey, happy mm-hmm. Groundhog Day, everybody. I don't think we talked about hey. that. Hey. <laughs> uh, you see your shadow. Okay. Um, <laughs> I'll go. Yeah. Lily, each of you looking at this stone in front of you, this, this stone that isn't moving, you're the only two that notice this at this moment. And you each notice the same thing, but in different ways. You notice scarring on the stone itself. Lily, it looks to you like it has been hit with magical blasts. Hmm. And Ugo, it looks like it has been scraped or chipped away at with physical tools. You also notice something else, the two of you. A ledge tucked away, nearly out of sight, around the side of the small cliff that you're standing on. And on the ledge, propped up, are a few items. Okay. A shovel, and a pickaxe, and a small, nondescript, leather-bound journal. Oh. There's some stuff over here. I see it too. It looks um, like somebody was chipping at it with the shovel and pickaxe. Pretty dark in here, Jeff. Mm-hmm. Very. Jeff, Ugo's going to go over to the ledge and grab the items. Okay. Ugo, you pick up a, a pickaxe that looks worn and used and a shovel that looks worn and used too. In fact, the, the front of the shovel is bent a bit. It looks like it's been, you know, it's been very heavily used. Lily will go over and take journal i'll go did, are, oh, yeah. did you already have that yeah uh, yeah i was just going to pick up the items and toss them in but the journal was what he was going to re- see if he could read it oh yeah go go um i know i'm not the best for this but you got uh, it you said it's wrapped in leather it's a leather bound it's you know it's it's a, okay. yeah so if you, you just open, it. open it up mm-hmm. uh i'll go how good are we at reading at this point uh, I mean, my intelligence is eight, so technically I can read. I've been practicing yeah. for a yeah. very long yeah, okay. time. Um, this seems to be a uh, almost like a ledger. It seems to be a record of experimentation. Oh. Notes. A list of items that seem to have been used on the surface of the rock and their effects or lack thereof. Various spells are listed, explosives, and a diagram as to where they were uh, set off, and corrosive materials harvested from some incredibly dangerous creatures. Um, this somebody who was doing experimentation. Um, is there any kind of like can I see signing that? or who wrote this ledger? No, 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 like nope. signature or anything. Oh, nope. can I see that? Uh, yeah, here, here you go. Uh, she they tried a lot hand- of different stuff to break stone. Does she recognize the handwriting? She does. It is unmistakable. Conroy's script. This is my dad's. Yeah. And it's, <sighs> it, it is close. very clearly, it is not a record that seems to have been left for anyone. It seems to be notes to himself, not are for there, anyone else's benefit. Are there any other signs of footprints, uh, dragging uh, lines, uh, struggle, anything? No, nothing like that. Although, you know, all of this stuff is moving. There's constant dust and debris, cracks and bits of things. So who knows what, how this area has been disturbed by all that movement. But yes, there, you don't see anything that would indicate that. Are there but any other cl- clues in the diary, such as uh, bits of map or pressed plants or anything like that? No, it just seems to be a a rundown of things that have been tried on this surface. Spells at all or only spells spells as well? Mm -hmm. Physical, explosive. explosive. Civ. Yes. The belt. Yeah. That's sort of what I was thinking, but what are we trying to do? Get through the wall? Open it? Fahima, did he use any spells in there like uh, meld with stone? 
Yeah, can I see what spells he used? Yeah. Even the spell Passwall was used to no avail. Wow. Uh, so it looks like everything that he tried, even these are very high level spells. Um, they I didn't work. Somehow. But listen, oh. if this is the Quake Warden's domain, that, the belt, we saw um, um, Zhao, Zhong Lalong wearing in the past. Right. Yes. It is the Quake Warden's belt. Yes. That is true. I'll try it, Jeff. I'll try using the belt to try to part the wall. Okay. So as you did uh, on the exterior, you concentrate and focus. And as you saw on the exterior, all of you, the gemstone at the center of the belt starts to glow. And see if you start to imagine the front of this wall breaking apart and opening up. And you stand there focus and wait and then it does <laughs> it opens up and there seems to be a passage forward stairs leading Whoa. down and that's where we go to intermission. Yes. <laughs> yes. Holy discovery, Batman. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. Great. Good Fantastic. job, folks. We're well that navigated. Was so fun. That was it's, awesome. a, it's a hallway, James. It's your favorite. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Run out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, we did get a, a few balloons there. Sitar, uh, which space, and grasp my hand. Uh, giving uh, balloons. We really appreciate those. Thank you so much. The current tug of war totals are Team Force of Good, 43%. Team Ooh. Force of Evil, 57%. Mm. Wow. Tight. Close. We Tight. will take a brief intermission and come back and see what is down the steps. <laughs> Stick with us. We'll be back shortly. <laughs>
And we are back. Oh, what was that sigh about? I'm worried. Sigh. I'm worried is what it is. <laughs> what that is. Really? I spent the last 15 minutes worrying about right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, here we go. Back to the worry. Back to the anxiety chamber. Um, <laughs> who All named right. this the anxiety chamber? Oh, my God. <laughs> That's for my other podcast. Um, <laughs> so uh, you see the uh, the rock move as Siv concentrates. The belt glows, and the this what seemed to be at least based on these notes a uh, impassable surface melts away in front of you, cracks open and shifts as you've seen the belt move rock before, and there are steps leading down to darkness. I don't know how long this is going to last, so you should all go very quickly. Come on, come on, okay. come on, go, on go, 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 go. All right. And Siv, can you, can you close it behind us? Sure. Do you want me to? Let me just tell you where my mind is going right now. Who had this belt before us? Zhang Lao Long, as far as I the know. The Ashen Mage. That's where Fahima found Oh, it. I see what you're saying. I see it's what you're saying, possible yes. if Conroy is in trouble and Conroy has been taken by someone. It's possible that someone's been waiting here for us to show up and use this belt. Really? If they're here and Conroy's James? in trouble, James, I might be... I, James? Look, look you can't James? blame me for being a little... <laughs> hey, James, I know it's dark in here and you can't see, but we need to calm down, okay? Because, yes, it's true. What you're saying is right. Thank you. But, but also, if we're in a state of panic... We're not going to make sound decisions. I'm not panicking. I'm just uh, simply, I'm simply saying let's close the let's close the stone behind us, so that if there's a, if there's anybody waiting here for us, been waiting for this moment when we walk through this wall. Because if this be, if that belt is the only thing that could pass through this wall, I think since I got a man, saw a man cut in half, I've been in a panic situation the whole time. So <laughs> that was a while ago. Here. <laughs> All right. So for for the sake of argument, oh, I'm gonna say that everybody already went through. I'll go through. Well, We're having this conversation on the other side. Just let of... me, I need you guys to tell me your walking order here. You can oh. you can go uh, two people abreast. Well, uh, I I guess I'm last because I'm gonna be closing the stone thing behind. I'll me, go right? I'll go be in the front, of course. I'll and then ahead. Lily and Hema. Yeah. Okay. So I'll go. So James. I'll go and Lily are first, and then Fahima and James, and then I'll co come up and take the rear and close the wall behind us. No, okay. I'll go and James, Lily, Fahima, right. Siv, and, oh. Siv in the rear. Oh, okay. All right. So I'll go and James. Uh, James, uh, you, I think, are the only member of the party that does not have dark vision. That's correct. Ironic. <laughs> as a demon, but... Do we have a giant, glowing, burning, mastiff-sized phoenix with us? We do. I'll go pulls out. A always. Candle. Okay. You want we always have light. <laughs> All right. Meep is okay. always burning. <laughs> so you walk down the feathers, the burning phoenix feathers of of Meep, uh, illuminating this cavern, this tunnel. Uh, these steps, stone steps leading down everything, rock and stone all around you. And the steps and stone go on for a long time. You're walking deeper and deeper and deeper into this mountain, whatever it is. And as you get deeper and deeper, those sounds, those moving, that grinding, that vibration, the rumble of all of that moving rock that you've been hearing this entire time since you even got close to Orms. All of it. Duller, fainter, farther away. You're getting deeper into the, into the ground. Until you get to a door. A big stone door. 
Hmm. How high? It is uh, slightly larger than a normal medium-sized door. I'd say it's a little grander than a do- normal door, but no, nothing, certainly not warden size. I'm not like grabbing the handle or anything. Or is there a handle? Any any knockers? Any there handles? is. There's any, a handle. Any uh, keyholes? No keyholes. Any markings no on the door? Nope. Plain stone slab of a door. Is there a floor mat? <laughs> There's no floor mats. <laughs> I think I read somewhere that you're supposed to say something like friend or something. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know. Didn't work. <laughs> Speed. I'll just push on the door a little. It moves. Whoa, you are super strong. <laughs> it gets unlocked. Okay. Oh, let's be quiet. Oh, are we going silent now? I'll that'll... push the door open if quiet. I can. All right, you push the door open. Oh, French door, sorry. Opens into... <laughs> What's French? I've never heard that before. <laughs> uh... <laughs> You, you, it, it opens into a large chamber. And all of you are quiet, and it is very quiet in here. Very, very quiet. Is there any markings or anything? In front, in front of you, there are a, a number of corridors. Actually, maybe we should just go to the map room now. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. Okay. Let's do here it. We go. Ooh. Always big a map. good sign. Always a good sign. Big, big map. Oh, dear. Big map, big, big map energy. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so you see this sort of maze-like structure in front of you. Big stone walls and uh, passageways that sort of weave around. It is a very large chamber all stone and rock everywhere you look. There are carvings on the walls. There are uh, bits of script that you recognize. Uh, I'll go roll me a religion check. Absolutely. You have adv- a disadvantage from references needed. <laughs> <laughs> references needed giveth and references needed taketh yeah. away. Well, jokes on references needed because I rolled a 15 and a 14. So nice. 14 plus religion is 16. Okay. Uh, so you recognize some of these symbols from the uh, paraphernalia that you found at the footprint. Uh, it is clearly, these are clearly religious symbols that are uh, all over the walls in this place. Uh, no clear meaning behind any of it. No, it, there's no, um, you know, picture drawn or anything like that, but it is clearly very. Uh, very religious site here really uh, uh, tons of religious iconography similar to what you found in the footprint or uh, near the footprint. will activate divine sense so within 60 feet uh hollow spell know the location of any celestial fiend undead within 60 that is not behind total cover this doesn't appear to have been a hallowed by the hollow spell okay. unlike the uh the footprint and no celestial fiends are undead that are within 60 feet correct total code. Okay. <clears throat> um, does it look like one of those things where, like a like a tomb or something where nobody's been in here for a really long period of time or are there like footprints and handprints and there are footprints and handprints uh all over the place pincher can prints I... insectoid yeah that's my i was gonna can i use survival to see yeah if, to, mm-hmm. to determine yep. the creature types of these tracks yeah, you have a uh, straight roll as far as I'm concerned. Straight roll. Survival check. Mm, better roll because it's survival, but it's uh, 14 total. 14, yeah. With a 14, it's pretty clear that these are uh, bipedal insectoid footprints. This is a temple of, of those ant people. I go, as you speak that. The ground underneath you fluctuates <gasps> as if spikes shooting out of Ooh. the ground. Ah! Ooh. <clears throat> and you take. Ooh. No save. Nice. 
nine points of piercing damage. Ouch. Oh my gosh. Uh, and then, is it, so like the, it was literally like a mechanism? Or no. Did, no, it was like something was underneath the ground and spiked. No, it's like the ground itself deformed into spikes for a moment. Like, have you ever seen Tron? Yes. You know when the when the bit like gets angry and it. Sh- oh it- yeah. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. So it's like almost that. like Earth itself. Yep. Okay. Do the spikes stay or do they go back? They down? go back. Wait. It's almost as if you, another way. If you haven't seen Tron, another way to think about it is like, uh, almost like a sound wave that. Yeah. I'll go, you, know, you go into a mic and you see, watch the sound wave and it goes. Whoosh. Jeff, I'll go is going to pick up a, a one of his tiny hammers and just mm-hmm. toss it down the hallway. 40, you know, 20 feet. Yeah, it lands. Boom, 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 boom. I think but no, uh, but no changes to anything. That was the Correct. first, that was, a, that was the first someone, first time someone had spoken, spoke, spoken, speak, spoken, spoken, spoken. So I'll go, I, uh, James, awaken mind to everyone. Shh. And you Jeff, hear huh? farther, far, far, far ahead of you. You hear a as if stone moving on stone is there um that what is it it's there there's th- this uh th- just to our just to Ugo's left there what what those look like steps or what are those those are steps uh they are uh carved stone steps yep okay. possible to climb okay so maybe uh, and awaken mind to everybody off the ground, off the ground, quickly. Um, Jeff, how accurate is this map? Like, if there's a statue, does that mean there's an actual statue? And if yep. there's like the skull with these like spear bits and stuff, uh, and that the uh, vases. I don't, and... I don't think that's a skull. It's a. It, it's like a. It's a like rock. A, like a yeah, a rock or a, a vase or something. It's. But these yeah. these little vase things right here mm-hmm. that I'm pinging, those are there. Yep. I'm gonna go pulls out check, his book and begins check writing those out it, real quick, and then sh- holds it up to everyone. What does it say? Hollow spell was silence. Fascinating. Can I just go check out those urns real quick? Sure. What do you 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 want to just investigate them? Yeah, I mean, I'm not trying to loot this place. Yeah, yeah. I get you. You're just trying to make sense of it. I get it. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> Roll me an investigation check. You have <laughs> advantage from references needed, countered by references needed. Yay! <laughs> You're the king, references needed. <laughs> no, I only got an eight. I just uh, want to look at them. I'm not. Yeah, like, no, they they you know. they seem to be uh, uh, earthenware pots. Um, they perhaps had liquid in them at one point. They're empty now. Um, you do you I pick recognize them, up? them from the book? I no. still have the book. No, <laughs> no, they uh, they, they, uh earthenware. they're yeah. fairly uh, they're fairly um, unremarkable, honestly. Uh, okay, J- James yeah. will awaken mine to Fahima and Lily. No sound means no spells if you're standing on the ground. Hmm. We can't answer you in awaken mine, right? No, <clears throat> we've okay. been talking this whole time, though, haven't we? It's just when. Ugo got loud is when it triggered, or was it just he because... was the first person to speak inside this chamber? Oh, I see. Hmm. I see. So, so, the, rest of us, so James, the rest of us haven't been inside the chamber yet. James will be motioning everybody to get well, up. Well, nobody's talking. The... He, yeah. James is only talking inside your head. Ugo wrote okay. something on a piece of paper. Okay. Ugo spoke and was injured. Ugo refers to uh, points towards the door that they came in hmm. and walks out of the temple. Ah. Okay, yes. Maybe we can talk in here. Yeah, and as you speak, nothing happens. It, 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 if you walk outside onto the steps that led to yeah. the door, yeah. uh, you can speak normally, yes. Yeah. Come up here. We need to discuss. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Step, right. step outside. We, do we silently slink through whatever that is? I guess so. Well, now, now I'll go wonder why Hollow Spell was silenced. Yes. Fahima, Fahima seemed confused that a hollowed place would be lack of sound. There are religions where silence is, I mean, you know, monks or or others take take vows of silence. Maybe they maybe they punish those who aren't silent. 
Well, whatever did that in there was punishing me for being loud. Right. So clearly they must worship whatever that is. Well, well maybe it was set up by them. Mm. So That would be strange. What's the I mean, goal? Are we, are we just trying to find the warden, or do we want to actually investigate this temple and see what these creatures are? Save Conroy. Find the warden. Save Conroy. Find something marvelous. We have no idea where Conroy is. How would we find him? We're just searching for him. No, I think I think we need to keep going to find the quake. War find what's at the center of this, hoping that it leads us, gives us some clues about the Quake Warden. But... Right. I guess my question is is this. Do we want to search all these rooms, or do we just want to beeline it through this place to try to get to the other side? I'll go start taking off his armor. I feel like we want to get to the other side. I think we I want agree. to I think we want to get to the other side. I think we can possible. I think we can probably move efficiently. Unless we, we get always... to the other side and we realize that you know, that's not what we want, but mm -hmm. it, I think that's our best option. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Agreed. Uh, Jeff, do these walls go all the way to the ceiling, or do they just go up to a certain point and then stop, and then there's like a ceiling above that? They go up to a certain point and then stop, and there's a ceiling above that. <sighs> okay, then I'm gonna let I'm gonna let Mr. Whispers out of his little pocket dimension and have him uh, fly up and land on on the top of one of these walls so that I okay. can get a bird's eye view of this area. Okay, and then I will briefly describe that back to the group and say, look, there's a path to the north, there's a path straight through, and there's a path to the south. The other thing that Mr. Whispers sees is a very large boulder. Oh, no. <laughs> think, a... think Raiders of the Lost Ark. It's that size and shape, and it seems to be the thing that was creating that sound that you heard of stone moving on stone. Does it resemble the rock monster that we dealt with in the footprint? Or is this a The different... rock monster was was almost like a humanoid shape cobbled together from, from stones. Right, right. This is a giant boulder, a round boulder. Bigger than the rock monster? Uh, no, not bigger than... The, the, the rock okay. monster was tall. This mm. is like an Indiana Jones style. Big rock. Right. Big rock, big round sphere. Same size classification in D and D, just completely round. So it's huge, like it's a huge sized cre uh, stone uh, circle. I think it's, I think it's large. I think it's large. large. Okay. It's like yeah, ten I mean, feet it, high ish. It, it's yeah. very big and heavy looking. Yeah, got it, got it. Like you wouldn't <laughs> want to be hit by it. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So well, how good is everyone's balance? We could just walk along the top of the walls. Uh, maybe. Good. Climb up fly. to the top of one of the walls and then walk across. Oh, I mean, not as good as yours, Water. but I go stop and starts putting his armor back on. <laughs> what? Why don't we fly? All of us? Yes. Uh, okay. I can polymorph Ugo into a giant eagle, so he doesn't have to take off his armor, and he can carry Lily and I, and James could make you and himself fly. I mean, I'm fine with that. Okay. Am I going to be able to be quiet when I'm a giant eagle? Or am I going to have like have to like... <laughs> These are good points. I think you could be quiet. <laughs> if you wanted know. to. Only, only call eagle, if you need though. something. An eagle going to eagle. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff. Yeah. Uh, looking at this map, that looks like an obelisk or something large at the at the far end. Is that a door underneath it? Or yes. does the map uh, continue? Okay. That would, it, it does seem to be, uh, I don't know if you guys would be able to see it from here. But... Got it, got it, got it, got it. All right. Unless there's something that we're trying to find amongst these ruins. I mean, some could... piece of information or, or I don't know. I'm okay with saving a spell salt and just being, starting to be careful. Well, that's why I put my armor back on, because when I threw the hammer, it made noises, but nothing happened. Right. So it sounds like it's only maybe speech. When we speak. So, so yeah. you can see down the, the way? Well, I can see fr from Mr. Whisper's point of view, but I could easily climb up one of these walls and just tightrope walk across the top of it. I'm just saying, if there's a giant boulder, is that what you said? Yes, it's huge. 
And I, I'm assuming that's what was making that weird rumbling Perhaps sound. we should try to go to the side, and then you'll be able to tell us if it's coming towards us. Yeah. I'll follow you, Siv, because um, my Eldritch Blasts seem to do fairly well against those rocks, um, but I don't want to be on the floor if I need to start firing. All right, so this is my idea. If you go to the map room, I'm going to ping right here. Yeah. If I climb up on top of that, I could type rope walk across all the way to here, to there, to there, to there, uh-huh. and maybe even jump across over to that one if necessary. Uh-huh, yeah, yeah, that sounds perfect. James, you're going to do that? I mean, probably not as gracefully, and I don't know about that jumping part, but um, yeah, yeah. Okay, James is just behind him, like crawling. Like, <laughs> I'm going to fly. So. Okay, be careful. How okay. are you doing that? You're just gonna flap your wings? I'm just going. <laughs> I don't have wings like James, but oh, I, I will yeah, polymorph. Man, I thought you polymorph. I will polymorph. Yes. Can I ride you? I believe so. <laughs> That was awkward pause. <laughs> this is a very awkward moment. Moving on. <laughs> I just, I look, I'll, 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 I'll be there to help you keep silent as an eagle. Okay, well, giant eagles can understand common, so it shouldn't be too difficult. Great. If I could be silent as an eagle. Oh, man. I tried so hard not to make that. <laughs> I guess I'll just do my own thing. Well, Lily, you could ride on the eagle if you want. I figured you were coming with me. Oh, well, I could do that. That feels like a lot of weight for the eagle. I mean, I can go along the wall. I have great balance. Uh, Okay. And I got the saddle, but it's all up to you. That's true. Okay. Well, I'll go along the wall. That feels safer. And then if there's an eagle situation where you have to fight to not have sound, I won't fall off. Okay. Okay. Siv, lead the way. All All right. right. So everybody roll me initiative. Oh, no. You want to do this in order? Uh, well, can I? This this takes some. A polymorph, I think, is not instantaneous, so I'd like to. Yeah, do you, you're more than welcome to do that before you go back in the room. Yeah. But once you yeah, guys yeah. go back in the room, we want to be in initiative order, please. Uh, okay. I'll go Sorry. so to Lily before we go in there. Lily. Yeah. Shatter may be very hurtful to something. Yes. I think so. Uh, right, advantage, so, disadvantage, Jeff. Yeah. Siv, you have a straight roll. Fahima, okay. you have advantage from gateway guy countered by references needed. James, you have disadvantage from references needed. Thank you. Ugo, you have a straight roll. And Lily, you have advantage from Hadrian X countered by references needed. Thank you, and thank you. 24. 11. One. Ooh. Plus one. Wow. Plus one. Two. <laughs> Two. <laughs> well, I mean, we're not even in combat <laughs> yet, so. I also got a 24. Yeah. It's okay if I go last. It's, it's a good thing to get a natural one on <laughs> <laughs> initiative. Go. You want to I go, go with yours? I go. That. Oh, uh, six. Yeah. I'll just go right behind you, Siv, if, if you're going to okay. lead on the wall. That way yeah. it can be. I mean, I can scale the wall and then reach down and, and help pull you up so you don't have to climb it. Okay. A utility wizard going last is very useful. <laughs> just saying. Uh, if we get into a sticky situation once I'm on the other side, um, if necessary, um, I can teleport and swap places with someone oh. who's having difficulty. Right. I thought someone was going to get webbed. Webbed? Yeah. Sticky situation. Oh. <laughs> okay. So. Spiders, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> uh, if you guys are ready to walk into the room, uh, Fahimo, you are poly- polymorphing yourself into something? Yes, into a giant eagle. How big is a giant <laughs> eagle? Is that large? Large. Huge? I'm large. Sure it's large. Giant. Pretty big. <laughs> Giant. Well, Boo. Boo. Yeah. Before, right before she does, she'll say, "I'll go." This is your last chance. I tell to... you to go home, Ron, but you're already there. <laughs> <laughs> because of your armor, it might be a bit safer for you to be the giant eagle if you'd like. Okay. It's up to you. It's up <laughs> well, to you. No, I'm just I, a bit worried about being loud. You are the smarter one between us. So who's the eagle? I'm not going to stay that often, so just turn me into an eagle. Are you going to be able to be quiet as the eagle, though? I will do my best to not eagle. (laughs) Okay. So she reaches out and she casts Polymorph on Ugo. All right. Ugo, you're an eagle. Ugo, the giant eagle. Hey, we have an eagle mini. Yay. Wow, look at that. It's a bald eagle. Is there any other kind? (laughs) And Meep goes right here, too. Okay. 
So, Siv, you're up. If you guys are walking into, again, walking through yeah. these doors and into this yeah. space. Yeah. I got daggers right. out. I'm ready. All right. 5, 10, 15, Get it done, baby. 20, 25, I got daggers out. 30, 35, 40. Actually, I was going to stay and help uh, Lily. So, uh, is I going to mess with the whole initiative thing uh no i mean i can give you um i can give lily advantage on her climb or whatever if you want to on her acrobatics check if you want to you know do the assist action that's fine yeah so i'll just i mean we're going on the exact same round could we move simultaneously was i going to screw with you i mean actually lily rolled a 24 and yeah. you rolled a 24 yeah. so i'll make that i'll say yeah you guys cool. can move at the same time <laughs> cool oh, we're so cute. in sync <laughs> Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. 30. All right, both of you need to roll acrobatics checks. This is where mm. I lose you, though, because that's twenty-five, and as far as I can go. Acrobatics. Lily, you, you, you have dash. advantage from False Star. Siv, straight roll. Thank you, False Star. I needed it. Oh, that's worse. Um. Okay. Uh, bar, bard. By the bard. By the bard. <laughs> bard the bard. Bard bard. I'd like to bard um, bard. Okay, bard. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna do. Okay. If we shadows have offended, think of this and all is mended. Uh, that we have yes. slumbered here as these visions did appear. You would do that one. <laughs> Midsummer. You know, yeah. I have another one, but I feel like I, I need it right now. <laughs> Midsummer Night's <laughs> Hurt. Jeff, what do I get? Uh, D10. Okay. Great, great, great. That was a good quote. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Didn't actually say a family name in that one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Neither of my, <laughs> neither of the ones I was gonna do have family names in them, so I was like, well, this one feels more probable that people will get it. And I rolled. Okay, good. So now on an acrobatics check, I got. Oh yeah. Uh, Twenty three. That should be enough. Yeah, and what was yours, Siv? 22. Okay, so both of you are able to move your full movement uh, balanced on top of this, uh, this, these little walls. Cool. Can but we dash? Or full. Yeah, you can dash. Okay. James, are you riding right eagle? I'm gonna. No, I'm. I'm gonna. Dash. I'm gonna follow Siv. Five. Really? 10, 15, 20, okay. <laughs> 25, 30. Can you dash, uh, Lily, to? 25 or whatever that is. Yeah, I'll go right here. I think, I think you got you got one more square. Well, you have 30, right? Yeah, so but I did. I counted the corner. Got it. I see. I see what you did. And I still have my action, so I'd like to hold my action to throw a dagger if something pops out and and uh, attacks either me or Lily. Okay. So the rest of you see Lily and Siv scamper up the side uh, of this wall. Uh, Siv reaching down and hoisting Lily up, uh, hold, grabbing on with his claws and, and helping her up onto the top of this, this high wall. Uh, it's not super wide, but they managed to pick their way across, balancing on the edge, and then they dash a bit farther, walking around the side. You see them uh, trying to be quiet, looking at each other, looking back at you. Uh, Ugo, you are a giant eagle. What is the eagle's intelligence? Pretty Same cool. as mine. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. It, yeah, yeah, I have its stats. Eagle can up. read. I had no idea. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's a mm -hmm. negative one modifier to intelligence. Yep. Okay. But uh, it, it can speak common. Or it right. can understand common. Understand. <laughs> it is uh so Siv and Lily have gone. The next thing up in the order is this giant boulder, which goes boom and hits this wall over Ooh. here. You hear it. It is the impact is incredible. You feel it through this entire chamber. Bang! It hits the wall. Thanks. Awesome. James, you're up. Then um, Lugo and Fahima. Uh, I'll awaken mine to Fahima. Can the eagle carry both of us? Jeff, I think we determined that a large eagle can carry two creature. Two. What's its strength? Yeah, what's its strength? 16. Uh, I would say one medium-sized creature and maybe a small creature, but I don't know. Uh, you guys can correct me if I'm off no, on that. Maybe I mean, is there a raw on that? I don't know. I don't know, but six. Well, there's, um, I, I think there's... it's more than we think that they can carry. A horse can carry two people, and that's considered a large long. 
Right, but that's on right. the ground. This is also yeah. flying. Yeah, so I, mean, I think yeah. there's a there's some gray area there. Mm -hmm. Um standing standing back people. standing back in the door with 16 strength? Uh, yeah. What is it? What four? No more than four hundred eighty pounds. I'm getting four. Four people, four but no more than like four hundred and like five hundred pounds because of its strength. Okay. All right. I mean, it so, makes yeah. sense. Yeah, like the yeah. the horse analogy is. I'll, mm -hmm. it I'll climb up. Mm -hmm. Okay, do uh, No more than four weighing four hundred pounds. Basic carrying rules would yield a maximum payload of four hundred eighty. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'll. All right. All I'll right. I'll hop up on the hop up on the eagle, but next to Fahima. I don't know All right. Could be wrong about that. Gingerly getting out of the eagle's back. Mm -hmm. I mean, it might not be the most crazy to me. It might not be the most maneuverable. It's a giant eagle. eagle. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, it's a large creature, though. Yeah. Right. Like huge eagle. I mean, if we think of the Lord of the Rings, how many people? How many people do they carry? One each. One. Two? One, One each. Yeah, that's Jeremy Crawford says lifting and carrying in the player's handbook for rules on carrying capacity. Thanks oh. for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the four eighty. That's the four eighty pounds. Yeah. Lifting and carrying. I, I would say that Fahima and... We and, all know James yeah, well, has been like, eating those pastries, it, though. It, it whatever so. the case is, be real on one at one point, I don't know if I'll allow that? four people, but we'll definitely do two at this point. Okay, okay. all right. Okay. All right. Okay. So, yeah, James, James has got a little, like, a pot belly demon belly going <laughs> right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 All right, so... What, what's happening? It's James's turn. Yeah, so I will. I'll I got use... you. I got you. I finally got Ron. <laughs> um, I'll climb up on the eagle's back and I'll hold my action to fire Eldritch blasts if I see anything try to attack any of us. Okay. I'll go. You're up. I'm you gonna use eagle. my perception as I fly into the room. Okay. <laughs> Would you like so, to move up to 80 feet? 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. Here, I can show you. Yeah, thank you. I'm going to put us right there. there. Yeah, okay. James and Fahima have to move yourselves up. Sure, so sure, I fly sure. by 65 feet. Uh, and I, I'm, I'm look, the eagle's going to look around the room just to make sure that there isn't anything else hiding around here. All right. Roll perception. You have a straight roll as far as I'm concerned. Does it have a keen sight? It does. Nice. Nat 20. Oh, uh, you do not see any other creatures. Okay. Um, if you want to ask me about anything in particular that you see on the map, but I think that the eagle sees the entire map. Yeah. Um, there is indeed a large structure. Uh, structure is the wrong word. A pillar uh, at the back of the room. Doesn't seem to be any other exits from Nothing the room. Nothing shiny or like metallic, uh, like a crystal or gold. Nothing crystal or gold in particular, but you do note uh, right where you are, right at yeah. the uh, at the spot you are, just to your left. There is a. Uh, there seems to be sort of an orb-shaped object mm. uh, on a pedestal, uh, and there are a number of those. If you'll you, you can note um, around. So there. I'll go. Eagle will go there and grab that, and it's Talon. Because I had more movement left. Oh yeah, you did have more movement left. Uh, okay, I only moved like five eagle. Okay, as you grab that orb, yeah, yeah, the entire room. <laughs> God, shifts. Oops. Oops. <gasps> what? Whoa. And you oh. see, uh, Siv, you fall. The The entire room shifts. The rock and stone of every part of it moves, shifting, yeah. sliding very quickly. Whoa. And Siv, the, the uh, pedestal you're standing on, the, the little uh, right. wall you're standing on, wall. disappears out from under you. Roll <gasps> me a dexterity no! saving throw. Uh, you okay. have a straight roll as far as I'm concerned. Lily, you happen to be still standing on one. Woof. Um, Deck save? Yeah. 14. Uh, you fall and take four points of bludgeoning damage. Uh, you also notice... Where is it? Mm -hmm. Yikes. 
Uh, I'll go if you're still uh, above the wall. Well, no, you went down and grabbed that right. thing. Right. Right. But you said it was an orb. Yeah. The orb shifts shifts to the other side of the room, but oh wow, is now illuminated green. Oh, red light. What? <laughs> <laughs> D and D squid Margo? games. Yeah, that's that's, um, <laughs> that's my turn. Behima, you're up. I, are the walls around us? Are 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 we able to fly over them at all? Or um, you would you could fly over them? Yes. Okay. All right. So, to be clear, you touched the orb. Were you attempting to pick it up and you couldn't? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Apparently, when I when I tried to grab it, it flipped around yeah. and then illuminated. Yeah. It is not. It is not something that you can pick up. It's attached to the pedestal. And all of the room, the entire room, just as you've seen all the rock and stone morph and shift, uh, just reconstitutes itself, shifts and slides and flops to the other side, bits of wall reordering themselves. Tricky, sneaky, sneaky. So for my turn, for Fahima's turn, she's going to maintain concentration on polymorph and give the eagle a little nudge on the side to continue ahead. All right. That complete your turn? Yes. Back to the top of the round. Siv, Siv, you've just fallen as the actual wall you were standing on disappeared out from under. You yeah. shifted slightly and you you fell to the ground with a thud. Did and I see as, the, the as you landed? Touch. Sure. As you ahead. landed, you let out a little oof and mm. you take mm -mm. ouch mm -mm. three points of piercing damage as the ground and this rock will use a legendary action oh the rock's got legendary <laughs> actions to fling this direction i, I hear it Eat coming ron <laughs> <laughs> can you smell what it's cooking yeah <laughs> You get legendary actions when you're the rock. It's named Dwayne. <laughs> That's why he's got three names. <laughs> That's how you get legendary actions. <laughs> oh, but there's a wall here. It can't hey, go that way. Names. So it's you have legendary try. actions. Yes. Does the rock know there's a wall there? <laughs> no. What's its intelligence? <laughs> Good question. <laughs> it's going to actually hit this and roll over the top of it. Oh, boy. The counts as um, rough terrain for this thing, so I don't oh. want to get to there. But it is rolling at a very high speed towards Civ. All right, Civ, is your turn. Did I see the eagle touch the orb, or do I have no idea what triggered all of this? I mean, I think you're, you were on the wall. You saw, Correct. you could see the eagle very clearly from where you were, so I don't, I don't yeah. think it would be a hard stretch to say you saw it happen. Okay. Then I will climb back up onto the wall and can I safely say that I know where the other orbs are based off of my Mr. Whispers, Mr. Whispers? Yeah, stuff I think from that's before? Fair. Yeah. Is there I one don't... right below him, Jeff? Uh, is a... There is something that looks similar. Oh yeah. Right. Right. That That's an orb-like object? Mm -hmm. It, it looks like it is built into the side of the wall. It is a it is flush with the side of the wall, so it's not a full orb. It's only sort of half of one, as you can see from the picture. Right. Uh, yeah, I also kind of want to get away from this giant boulder thing. So <laughs> 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. I'll jump this. 25, 30, 35. So that's my cunning action. Let me just get, give me an acrobatics check for that leap. Sure. Straight roll. Uh, 16. Yep. No problem. Okay. Um, you, you see, you see five, Siv leap very nimbly and land 15, on this other 20, 20, thin 20, ledge. 30, 35, 40. Top of the wall. I'm going to do it again. All right. Uh, it's a 30. Thirty. Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 
<laughs> he does sixty. Leave. There's a handstand on the other side. <laughs> I did it. <laughs> that uh, was a nat one, so I'm assuming I failed that jump. So you fall to the ground again. Okay. Mm. Uh, I still have more movement. Five points of bludgeoning. Coach. And uh, let's say, give Should've me a flew. constitution save to see if you make any noise or not. Okay. Should've you flew. have a straight roll. I make noise. I only got a five. All Oops. right. So you take six points of piercing as you fall. Boy, it was a meat grinder. And uh, Rock takes another legendary action. After your turn, well, okay. Time uh, I was gonna spend the rest of my action to dash and climb back up on that wall and then reach down and touch that orb. Okay. So I essentially used my whole turn to move, cunning action, dash, and then action dash all the way over there, and then touch all right. it. All right. Oops. Hang on. So. As you touch it, again, everything shifts. Whoa. And now you it's normal. fall again, because no, no, you're no longer <laughs> on a ledge. Oh my God. Jesus. I'm expecting this though at this point, right? I mean, I, I don't know if you're expecting it or not, but uh, you notice that uh, those of you who are still uh, high enough to see over the ledge notice that the green the orb that had been green is off mm -hmm. and the or the orb that you touched save which is now on the other side of the room is green mm, got it hmm. do you want me to make a save for the falling damage yes please straight roll this definitely feels like ants made it uh, <laughs> six, 23 that it saves so you land on your feet quietly and uh does that complete your turn uh yeah that's everything at this point i mean i still okay, have more so i still have more movement so i guess i could go 5 the, 10 15 20 to there the boulder attempts to get to you and it's going to slam into this wall boom uh those of you who are close to it they on the top of the eagle feel the impact as this massive sphere rolls across the ground and it hits the wall boom it has more movement, actually, so it's going to go this direction, too. Boom! All the way over there. Yeah. Lily, you definitely feel that one. In fact, uh, roll me a dexterity saving throw. Yeah. You have advantage from Goofus McDorkle. Yikes! Thank you, Goofus McDorkle. Oh, jeez. Oh, okay. Um, 15? Uh, yeah, you managed to keep your balance as the whole, as the whole wall seems to shake from the impact of this boulder hitting it. Imagine she kind of like crouches down and like holds the edge on either side. Um, All right, so it is your turn, Lily. Okay, can I see Siv where he is? No, he's down now behind this yeah. this wall down here. He's on the on the floor. You're above your. I mean, you would have saw me run over that direction and drop down, but yeah. I saw where you fell. I don't yeah. really and, love that that rock is right there, though. And the, uh, uh, to remind you, what what ha has happened now is the room, the entire room, has shifted and morphed yeah. twice. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, Lily is going to move away from this gigantic boulder because she didn't like that. Um, down the ledge here, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. It looks like I'm not on the ledge, but I am. No, you're um, not. And then I can't see Siv. So, but I could see from, can we all see that the other orb turned off and this one turned on or would I have only been able to see the, the new one? I mean, I think you and everybody on the Eagle who are high enough to see it. Okay. Probably Siv saw it. I mean, I think everybody probably saw it from, cause you guys are all elevated. Um, I'm gonna send a message to Fahima uh, and just say, uh, the other one turned off and that one turned on. We need to make a plan because we're just gonna move the walls unnecessarily. You can reply if you want. Yeah, well, she's casting message, which is different yeah. than 
So yeah, awake yeah. in mind. Awake in mind, yeah. Uh, so the second orb was touched or was not touched? It wasn't. He touched, touched it. Siv reached down and touched it. Yeah, he touched it. was it. touched. Yes. Okay, so Fahima's reply will be, will be just mm. in her head. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, it just comes just, back to me only. I just hear. stop yeah. touching the orbs. I'll circle back on the eagle and pick you up. Yeah, message is a whisper, technically. Don't touch. It's the a whisper orbs. only I can hear. Yeah, so yeah. I, yeah. yeah. That's, that's just saying, identifying it's a whisper. Yeah. I yeah. will come back for you. Mm -mm. Okay. Um, the All right. End. Yeah, really, I think does that complete your turn? Yeah, yeah. I'm... Okay. It is the stone's turn now. Oh, it's... sorry. I am going to, like, kind of, as the, I'm doing that, just, like, crouch to kind of widen my base a little bit of, like, just because I'm not <laughs> sure what's going to happen at any moment. Yeah. It's all about that base. Yeah, all about that base, baby. Okay. All right. Yeah, I'm done. Uh, it's uh, the rock's turn will go... <sighs> You hit the wall. Jeez. If you hear it on the other side, mm -hmm. and then it's going to go into this wall. Mm. And then it's going to go into this wall. Oh, no. And then it is going <gasps> to go and attempt to trample you. Oh, oh boy. Oh, my God. <sighs> this thing sucks. Yeah. Jeff, I have a question. The little uh, just below the eagle or to the eagle's right, if you're yeah. looking its orientation, is that like a pit? The blue? Yeah, like the blue with the it's circle like on it. Is water? that this pit? No. Uh, the, the This thing. Yeah, that thing. Uh, No, that is not a pit. Okay. No. Yeah. yeah. Like on either side, like that. Like that's uh, I mean, that is that is standing water, but it's, okay, it's kind of like, a, it. like a, yeah. Got it, got it. Um, all right. So uh, make a dexterity saving throw, Siv. Uh, you have... Advantage from references needed, countered by references needed. <laughs> you still oh have my my oh, by the way, I gotta tell you, there's been some potatoes and yam action. Oh, oh. yay! Yeah, references needed with golden potato number three, four, and five. Whoa! And evil yam number three and four. Oh, <laughs> references needed. References needed. Thank you. And happy it's birthday. Incredible. Happy, happy birthday. birthday. <laughs> happy birthday. Happy birthday to us, I guess. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> The uh, the tug of war brings the tug of war to team force of good fifty percent. Oh, fifty percent! Wow! Deadlock. Deadlock. If ever get that? I now have to like go back and and plan for that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so, Siv, you do you do your dexterity saving throw, please. Yeah, I got a uh, twenty six. All right. <laughs> So you leap out of the way just as this boulder passes right by poof, and slams into this wall. Uh, so uh, you, you know, you're, it's right up against you, but that completes its turn. And uh, now that I can see it up close, does it have like a face or anything? Is it, it does sentient? Not. Okay. It's a big sphere. Interesting. <laughs> It'd be worse if it did. <laughs> Uh, all right, so that's we are up to James's turn now. Uh, James is on the on the back of the eagle, looks at Fahima in awakened mind. I think we need to touch the lit the lit orbs. I'll be right back. Wait, wait, can I can I talk back? <laughs> Not with awakened mind. Not but... with awakened mind. If you can talk, but you'll be talking. I mean, out you loud. could just grab his wrist. I, I grab him and I go. <laughs> <laughs> the eagle's just kind of looking back, like. <laughs> This is the best for our audio listeners. <laughs> <laughs> One moment, and I have to describe what we're what we're talking about. Um, oh, oh, social, social, social. Get, say, uh, motion get, stop, and then she motions, pointing at Siv, and then sort of like a gesture, like question mark. What? To you want to help Siv? And she points at uh, get for, James. Get Lily on the eagle. I'll be fine. <laughs> she she motions at her neck. No, 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 no. And then let's go, let's go, let's go. And she kicks, not kick, gently nudges the eagle with her heel. <laughs> the eagle is in flight. Yeah, I mean, like, like literally. The, eagle, the eagle's hovering there. Yeah, yeah. yeah, at 80 yeah. feet per yeah, round. Feet so. per round, yeah. Uh, James, your turn. Uh, um, you hold your action. I know, but I'm. 
Are we going to do launch yourself off this eagle? Oh, he can fly. I can teleport. I can fly. Have you seen James before? <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah, but it's I mean, verbal, is it not? Yeah, but we're in the air. We're not on the ground. Um. You do you. Behemoth James. <laughs> James is going to uh, use a bonus action to cast uh, Far Step. Okay. And go 60 feet back this direction. Okay. And awaken mind to Lily. Get on the back of the eagle. 60 feet there. Yeah, but uh, yeah. So I, n I'm not using my full 60. Okay. Um, I don't want. I want to be standing. I want to be standing basically here at this corner. Okay. And, and on the uh, on the top of the yes ledge? On, on the okay. top of the ledge and say okay. say to Lily, get on the get on the eagle. And then I will hold my action to mage hand the green orb until okay. Lily gets on the back of the eagle. Okay. That brings us to Ugo's turn. Ugo, you are an eagle. <laughs> eagle has been told to go. <laughs> uh, and no one told the eagle to wait for Lily. So <laughs> eagle is going to uh, do as he's told. Fly towards rock. Well, I mean... What? When, James, when when you so you you were completely Who silent. told him you, to go grab Siv? Not grab Siv, just fly towards rock or keep going forward. I mean okay. again, that's just Ron understanding what the eagle understands and that's what a Ron No, I, I hear that. I, yeah. This is exactly what would happen if we couldn't talk. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, I think I think given what happened um, I don't know that you would have seen James and I on your back communicating, yeah, but right. James didn't communicate to us right, that he wanted right. Lily to get on your back. Right, right. So. I did say that very clearly to you, actually. I said, you get did? Lily on the eagle. Yes, I said, and I and okay. I communicated it to Lily. Yes, okay. I said it to you, Fahima. Well, it's going to okay. be very clear that the eagle is not going towards Lily, so maybe it'll just move if you want to indicate to Ugo while in flight. I, it's up to you, Fahima. Yeah, I mean, it, when James... Uh, teleports, Fahima would have naturally, at the very least, have pulled up on you, as in, like, hold okay. on. Okay. So then Ugo will fly towards the rock. <laughs> unless someone indicates to him uh, as Eagle that he's got to go somewhere else. Uh, and then just hovers there. Wait, but wait. Fahima said she pulled up on you to tell you, told you to hold on. Hold on. Oh. Did she not? Yes. Hold on. I didn't understand. No, I'm sorry. Oh. Yes, yeah. This is very yeah. Then I will uh, hold my action until Lily gets on the eagle's back and then fly towards the rock. See, if we were in person, I would just get on your back and I would pull on your shirt and then you just have to interpret that as you will as a character. <laughs> sure. That would be the most fair. Yeah. Yeah. When All I right. bonus action to cast far step there in the sky, what happened, Jeff? And I spoke. Uh, when you you spoke out loud to to cast far step, yeah, yeah, uh, there was, there would be. I mean, we were we were flying, but yeah, the ground again would right underneath where you were mm -hmm. would shoot up, mm -hmm. uh, and you would. I think you would all take. Uh, it would probably hit the eagle if they're riding on top of the eagle. That's right, they're riding on top of the eagle. Whoa! They shoots like up into the air. Yeah. Yikes. Girl. Sorry. Oh, that's fun. That's Girl. great. Uh, well, <laughs> better better the eagle than Fahima, only, actually. Fair enough. Three points of piercing damage on the eagle. Does the eagle make a sound? Whoa. Does the evil make a, eagle make a sound? Constitution <laughs> saving throw, I'm assuming? Or yeah. do I just make it because it's the first Wait. time it happened to me? Uh, it I mean, I think you could take a constitution saving throw. Okay. Fine. Uh, you have advantage from references needed, countered by references needed. Jeez. Thank you, references needed. Thank you, references needed. I, I rolled a 22. Yeah. Okay, so the eagle... 21, sorry, 21. Ma maintains... Bites its tongue. <laughs> bites its little eagle tongue. Uh, but then, the you know, this is all what would have happened before James's turn. And then... Yeah. Or no. Before. On yeah. uh, after James's turn, yeah, uh, the night. rock would take a legendary action. Okay. It would move here. Plonk. And then it would move here, bonk. Hmm. Okay. And then it would try to move <laughs> here, bonk, and hit that oh, ledge. Boy. If you're standing on the ledge, James, roll me a dexterity saving throw. <laughs> you have advantage from references needed, countered by references needed. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, references needed. Uh, 11. You fall off the ledge. Oh, oh no. my God. Uh, okay. <laughs> you take. 
Five points of falling damage, Ouch. and uh, roll me a con save to see if you yelp. Okay. It's a straight roll as far as I'm concerned. Uh, 11. Another 11. Ooh. You do. Okay. Uh, I'll go. Did you take stone damage? can't move right now because it Come already on. did, but it will be coming toward you next time it can. I'm also keeping track. Of uh, I, I, goes, I do keep concentration on far step from the damage that I took. Okay. So, good. So, uh, Ugo, you, we did your turn. You're holding your action. Holding action until uh, Lily gets on the eagle. Fahima, your turn. Uh, same as last turn, maintaining concentration on the eagle and uh, motioning towards... Um, I'll, I'll reach back and, and hold a hand out to Lily and help her uh, get on the eagle when her turn is next. So I'll, I'll hold that action. All right, so if you're up, then Lily. All right. Uh... Siv's over all of this, so he's just going to <laughs> 5, 10, sorry, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. What is this right here? Uh, that is, that's just sort of a bench or a, a, a table. So I can vault it? Yep. 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90. Uh, racial, ninety five. Yeah, 100, the back can move, move. man. Hundred cat can move. Five hundred and ten, hundred and fifteen. <laughs> what do I see? What? When I get to, yeah, you see a, you what? see a a closed exit. You Sealed. Can move exit. Feet in one a, I can do one hundred and twenty feet if I use my racial ability plus my move plus cunning action plus dash. Mm. Man, I wish Siv could drink. I mean, he is like, Jared can. Like really, he's like really there at this point. Um, so yeah, he's just gonna turn around and uh, well, does he see anything else? Does he see anything else when he gets yeah, this over there? Giant pillar in front of you uh, that uh, you know seems to have carvings on it that don't really make any sense to you. Sure. Um, it it does seem like a. a uh, austere, uh, pseudo-religious, yeah, symbol of some kind, uh, but it, it is uh, inscrutable to you at this moment. But it and is clear a, to you that this yeah. exit is completely sealed. Interesting. And it is the only sealed exit by in the what? room. Stone. Mm -hmm. It is. It, it yes, it is stone. But it doesn't look like the the stone you previously moved with your right. belt. And are these stairs right here? Stairs going up. up? Yeah. And. Uh, if I go, because I still have a little bit more movement, if I go up the stairs some, what do I see up here? What's all this jazz? Uh, these are uh, raised platforms. Uh, the, the raised platforms here and here. And there's uh, orbs there's, there, too. Correct. Uh, these are there mm. pillars here and here. Uh, what else are you curious about? All stone, all... The um how high up are those? Has been have been moving yeah. when the when the room moves, et cetera, et cetera. How high up are those raised areas with the uh, the two extra orbs? Quite high. Yeah. Quite high. They're they're at least twenty yeah, feet. They probably twenty five. They look about that high. And this thing here yeah. in the center is about the same height, about twenty feet yep. up. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, that's that might my even turn. be taller. Actually, that you know that raises even above those platforms. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna sashay my way up the stairs and then turn around and just kind of shrug at the, <laughs> the rest of the group when i get over there all right lily your your, your turn and i i gesture um okay so for all of lily... you listening in the audio <laughs> podcast at home he's gesturing closed <laughs> so he's gesturing closed <laughs> does james fall on the ground yeah oh yeah i'm, I'm on the ground right now yeah he's on the and ground yes, lily on the is ground. going to turn to james and say in a message james we need to all go in one direction and get on the same page come with us now james will respond the orbs are lighting if the door is sealed we need to touch the glowing orbs i think it's a guess but it's the only clues that i have 
Uh, Don't okay. hold your head at me. What are you? What's your plan? <laughs> <laughs> I just told you. you just no one's, no one's are, are you guys yelling now? Are you guys yelling now? Because you're going to anger the giant boulder rock monster. <laughs> okay. Well, Lily, Lily is going to then just sit down. <laughs> uh, Fima has her hand out towards you, and she's like, she's gesturing to you, like, "Come on, take my hand." She shakes her head. No, come. <laughs> <laughs> takes her head again. No, come. This is great. This is going great. <laughs> Lily, does that complete your turn? Sitting Lily down? shakes her head and says no and points at Jane because she's not going to split the party anymore. All right. Does that complete your turn, Lily? Yes. Okay, it is the stone monster's turn. It is going to go barreling into James and try to trample him. Oh my God. Dexterity saving throw, James, please. Mm -hmm. Yikes. Uh, straight roll as far as I'm concerned. Uh, okay, uh, dirty 20. Nice. Dirty 20. Good All right, so you save. So again, you squinch out of the way just as this thing rolls right at the wall, boom, hitting the wall. It hits the wall that Lily and Fahima are on. So Fahima's both of you... still on the Fahima, Fahima's still on the eagle, is she not? Oh, you're yeah, on the eagle, Lily? Yeah. Yeah. Right, yeah. Fahima. yeah, so Lily, just roll me a uh, dex saving throw, please. I'm also seated, if that makes any difference. Oh, yeah, well, I'll give you advantage. You did, you had advantage from uh, Lily Dumblestuck fan that was countered by references needed, but I'll give you advantage on the oh, for being seated. <laughs> She's stubborn. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Lily's not going anywhere. It's like one of those bull bull rides at the saloon. You're just yeah, exactly. On. She's just like, we have one of those on like, Bangle. It's what? a crab. What? Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's, a, it's, a it's a crab. <laughs> it's a crab. Not only would there be a feat called Stubborn where you get advantage on saving throws. <laughs> uh, no. James, I'll go in Fahima as the order now. So James, called, you're up. It's called the um, dwarf. <laughs> teleportation <laughs> magic. I speak it and then I'm gone. Mm -hmm. That's right. So my, with my bonus action, uh, continuing that's far why step. It, it, that's why it went off where you were and hit the eagle, right. remember? Exactly. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So... Uh, James, like, trapped in this corner with the rock, will just go, bonus action, pop, right over here, okay. on this. Does the rock hurt itself, Jeff? <laughs> Actually, <laughs> do the spikes come up and stab the rock? The spikes, the spikes uh, do come up. Yes, they I think do. I have to see. I think I have to see the spot where I'm far-stepping to, actually. Yeah. yeah, I think you're right. Um, so I will actually far-step up to the top of this wall. Okay. And then with my movement, run down these steps. Well, the and... steps are even, yeah, right. Yeah, the step, there's not really steps. They're like, it's just a platform on the ground. Oh, okay. So, yeah. And then, so, so hop down yeah. and use my, my movement and dash if need to, to get to the green thing. Okay. And touch it. All right. So, oh man, why does it do that? James is disintegrated. <laughs> Hang on. Uh, there we go. After all the uh, puzzles they, James has solved, you'd think there'd be more trust. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, the the light goes out when you touch it, mm -hmm. and the whole world, the whole map shifts. Uh, this rock gets brought up to the top of the oh. uh, the wall. It's lifted up as the wall lifts underneath it. Um, I think that's the only thing. Siv, you notice these pillars uh, that you are standing next to get raised up all the way to the level of the, the 30 feet up here. They got, if you notice, they got bigger and they raised yeah. up larger. Uh, and the, uh, the orb light has gone out. There's no other lit orb anywhere? Correct. And the pillars go up. What the heck? Is the pillar the same height as the pillar that has the orb over by where I'm at now? Is yes. it the same height? Okay. Correct. What the heck? Okay. Did that complete your turn, James? Uh, Yeah, I guess it would. All right, I'll go then Fahima. Uh, <laughs> I'll go still being I'll go, despite being a giant eagle, is frustrated 
and flies um, to Lily and attempts to grab her from the ledge. All right, Lily, will you resist that? Yeah, I'm holding on to the ledge. <laughs> All right. And she's Contest really good strength. at it. We just saw. <laughs> Contest, Contest of, strength. of strength between me and a giant eagle. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, will you have advantage from the oh cosmic lord? And I'll go. You have a straight roll as a giant eagle. All right. Okay, I got a 15. Hey, I also got a 15. <laughs> <laughs> that roll off. <laughs> Uh, just roll, okay. roll a d20 straight up. Oh, I got a three. Fourteen. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'll go. You grab Lily in your talons. But she's not happy about it. No, her arms are happy. still crossed. <laughs> she's and like, fine. I'm sorry, I'm happy. I'll go <laughs> flies over to Siv. I think that will be... Uh, can you measure that for me, Jeff? Yeah. With Fahima and, and me, Pizarro. Yeah, yeah. 90. Okay, so... Uh, it is there. Yeah, so... Oh, there. you would have... And you would have... Yeah. Stop there. <laughs> and and the rock is teetering on the top of the... Yeah. Yep. Okay. Fahima, your turn. Um... Okay. It looks like Ugo's about to, or the the eagle is about to drop Lily uh, on the top edge of here. Okay. Looks like the uh, just just so they know. Here, so, it looks like <laughs> Ugo's trying to dive there yep. to drop Lily. Yep. Fahima, you're on you. its its back, and Lily is all the way underneath the eagle. <laughs> um, have you how how low are you to the ground, Ugo? If Fahima would like to, I mean, jump I'm off. ten feet from that, so I imagine it's pretty close to that ledge. Um, yeah, because I think I want to jump off, Jeff, but I, I wouldn't, Fima wouldn't do it if it would be too far off the ground. Um, well, if you're, yeah, if you're coming down to, it would be, you know, you would be able to jump. I, I would make a dexterity check to see if you, or an athletics or acrobatic check if you want to land safely. The worst um, you'll take is a D6. Yeah, um... I'll do that now so that Ugo's turn is free. Okay, next so uh, Romeo, uh, Dex save. Uh, you have advantage from Paleo Gaming, countered <gasps> by references Thanks, needed. Oh, you don't you get though. the normal plus two. I don't get the normal plus two. Oh, I you rolled it. You do not get it this time. I rolled it high. I'm never going to do this Shakespeare quote. <laughs> um, Dex save. That's a 19. All right, so you land no problem leaping off the back of the eagle landing on the ground. Yeah, and I, you said I could go here. Yeah, or or down below. Okay. Well, you have to All right. walk there, but yeah. I mean, if if the eagle is here, you're not gonna. I mean, I guess you could okay. leave that far. I was. You're thinking just down here. Okay. Yeah, right. Well, I'll, exactly. I'll get as far as I can up here. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. Yeah, so I'm, I'm up here by Civ, and um, yeah, I will. That's my turn. I now, think. Uh, and the pet and the pillars where the 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 orbs are on top of are another 30 feet higher than where they are right now is that correct, correct. yeah got it this is okay. 30 feet up that just grew and that's right. 30 feet up yeah right okay got it back to the top of the run sieve okay i'm gonna go for the orb so i'm gonna five and this is i guess i don't want to make that jump five ten fifteen twenty twenty five 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, you 55, you, 60. You can climb as if your speed is normal, right? Yeah. No, my climb speed is 20 feet with my oh. claws. Okay. So that would be my move and cunning action for sure. And maybe even some of my action uh, to dash. I won't use my racial ability because I can't until I spend an entire turn not moving at all. Right. But I should be able to move cunning action dash and action dash to get up to touch that orb right there. All right. So you're going to touch it? Yep. All right. So just as before, the whole room shifts and a rock falls on the ground. <laughs> yeah. Does the boulder take damage? Uh, yeah, it will. <laughs> yeah, it does. <laughs> uh, so the orb that you touched is on the other side of the room. And it is glowing green. 
Okay. Is he now over there too? No. No, just the, okay. the just it, things yeah. shift and move uh, around you. It, it doesn't carry you or do anything. It just uh, so. So the one that he's not nearby gl- glows now. Okay, cool. Yeah, cool. All right, so the rock took some damage. It falls. <laughs> you hear it land on the ground. <laughs> uh, Lily, your turn. Okay, Lily is going to shake off her bad attitude <laughs> and give herself a little pep talk, and then not non-verbal walk. pep talk. <laughs> I'm not on the eagle anymore. It's a pep right? thing. Or... Uh, you are still in the eagle's talons because oh. the eagle cannot put you down yet. Can I tap to let it have a? I mean, I, I, yeah, yeah, you're going to fall most likely, but yes. How far? Ten feet. You established that. That's fine. Oh, sorry, I missed it. You can roll a deck save. Being you can roll a deck save and try to land. Uh, yeah. You have advantage from Chef Scott sixty-eight. Or acrobatics to check. He's the acrobatics. Yeah, that's yeah. better. If it's better. Ooh. Okay. I have advantage. Yes. Amazing. Chef Scott, Thanks, Chef Scott. Um, uh, okay, so I got 25. Yep, you land no problem. That doesn't even count against your movement or action. You just fall out of the, fall out of the eagles. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Talents. Talents. What would you like to do? Okay, and then I am going to walk delicately. Uh, boink, boink, boink. Yes, yes, very delicate. Blank, 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 <laughs> blank, 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 blank. Uh, it's for the audio listeners. Um, <laughs> and those are my footsteps. Uh, and then I am going to cast Mass Unseen Servant. Hmm, interesting. And I believe that this puts me within like 60 oh. feet of most of the orbs. So I'm just going to start kind of commanding because it casts 16 to kind of spread towards the orbs okay. in my mental thing. Not to touch yes. them, but just to like start going towards the orbs. Uh, so you can get an unseen servant to that orb, to that orb. Nice. I think I, I, think I can't get the tall ones up on the pillars because of the right. height. Yeah. Um, you said it's not concentration, right? It's not. Because the ground's about to no, no. So how many? Uh, how many unseen servants? You get. You get eight. Sixteen. Right? You, Sixteen. All right. Woof. So you have. I can send two to each. <laughs> buddy. buddy system. <laughs> <laughs> so part of the union route. So I, I think I'm not sending them to the tall ones on the towers, Jeff, because those I believe would be out of sixty feet. I, I'm I'm guessing, but it feels like they're high up in the air. Yeah, these are you know yeah these are uh, high up in the air, and they probably wouldn't be able to get to them because they can't. Climb climb um so yeah, well, kind of, you could get they, one you could get i mean yeah, they have, have one strength or something. i can go a little farther too i didn't take my full movement i just thought that put me I don't so have cool I, just tell me where you want one to go you want one to go there you want one to go one there mm-hmm. the south of you, you want one to the go one there. that's by james is the farthest one uh one here right that's a half an orb that's a half orb. Yep. Yeah, and then this one is the farthest. So That's, you're not gonna be able to get it to there, and that so one's maybe hundred. I, okay, this maybe I need to go. I only went five, ten, fifteen, twenty. 20. So I go. I'll go five more feet now. And send sixty. I just don't think it can go like as the crow flies sixty. You know what I mean? But I guess it doesn't matter, right? If it's just an invisible force, so I don't know how that works, I guess. We'll say you can get there. We'll say you can get there. It's fine. I'll, so I I'll just can't get to the one by James. I mean, I think it would have to take the long way home, but whatever. We'll long just say way home? Take fine. the long way home. Well, I guess they don't maybe don't get there this turn, but they're still within 60 feet of me. Oh, I see. You need to be within 60 feet of you. Does that make sense? It has to be away? within 60 feet of me for it to... So I'll I'll cast them. I, I agree with you. They probably have to go whatever. I, though I do think they can fly. I think they're just whatever. Um, so I, right, we'll I'll say we'll up. say that you can get they're to on their way. You can get to one, two, three, and this half one. Okay. Okay. Those. Okay. They're not touching them. That's like that's what my action is going to be. I'm just going to okay. get them kind of on their way. Okay. Um, Very I cool. Think that's my whole turn. All right. Uh, now we're to the stones' turn. The last person that fell was. 
James, but now it can't get to you easily. Did so James get pushed back up on the wall? Yeah, am I back up on the corner there? No, it, no, it, you're off the corner. Okay, it kind I'll... of went right behind you. It's fine. Uh, so this is going to slam there. It's going to slam there into the door. It's going to go slam here. It's just leaving. Uh, yeah, that's about all I can do. Okay. Uh, so we're up to James's turn. Got it. Um, yeah. Uh, did I hear hear Lily cast a spell? It's very quiet in here. Uh, does she need to speak for that one? Yeah, it is verbal. So I would have take I would have braced myself for a little bit of damage. All right. So yes, the ground underneath. Well, that would mean that the stone wouldn't have gone after James. It would have gone after Lily. Mm. So let's do that. Sorry. There's no, no easy okay. route I to it. Forgot. Yeah, it was here, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, there is no easy route to her. It's going to go bam, bam, bam. That's probably all I can do. Okay. And try to get to Lily. Uh, but Lily, you take three points of piercing damage. And uh, for me, a con save. You have advantage from references needed to see if you... Thank you, references needed. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. A con save. I've got a rolling well. 21. Yeah. All right. So you stay quiet even though the ground underneath you jabs into your skin. Uh, Stone has gone. James, your turn. Uh, Okay. Yeah. Hearing the stone roll away, James will use his movement to one, two, three, four, five, six. Basically run up, climb up onto this wall with my movement. 60 feet of teleport of a far step will get me 10, 20, or 30, 40, 50, will get me like here. <laughs> um, and then I will use my action to dash and basically just run next to Lily. <sighs> okay. <sighs> I'll go, you're up. <laughs> Um, all right. Well, the eagle is going to seeing Siv up there touch that thing. Ten, fifteen. Eagle's going to fly to the goal, the glowing one, and mm-hmm. try to grab it. All right. Mm-hmm. As you do, we go. We all it, die. The, it turns <laughs> off. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what if this is exactly what you need to do to end the world and we're just <laughs> <laughs> wouldn't be a first uh, rest everything shifts and moves it doesn't look like there's any consequence to that in particular but uh, the it looks like we're better off now the, the uh, orb turns off so that orb turns off no other orb turns on correct mm. so the they're all off again? Yes. Mm-hmm. And the portal is still not open. Correct. Uh, that was only 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45 of my movement. So I have another 35. Uh, the first 15, time... The first time we James's awakened mind talking to to Lily, huh. the first time we touched an orb, it lit up another one. Then Siv touched another unlit orb, and it changed it. Jeff, the yeah. Ugo Eagle touches the orb again. Okay. Uh, that orb lights up. Okay. And moves. The whole room shifts again. Okay. So. Like that. And wow. that orb, like the whole room when it flips, is now on the other side of the room. Okay. And you wow. just. Wait, okay. Yeah, I'm puzzled. I'm very puzzled. Yeah. And you just touched. Okay. Are there two orbs lit? Because there's a little orb lit yeah, over here, too. I, I, I think that's a mistake. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Have we ever... We haven't ever touched one that's 
already. We lived. did. I did. Yeah, right? yeah. and James, I just did. I yeah. just with the mage hand. James and Elgo have both done it at this point. It's not easy to do with this software. There we go. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so they have the same effect. What would you? Seemingly. You also turned off. The, oh, okay, there it is. Yep. Great. There's Seemingly. no way to turn only one of them off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got it. <laughs> hmm. Okay, uh, yeah, that's Elgo's turn. Wait a minute. I'm looking at the wrong thing here. Uh, okay, uh, I'll go with Fema's turn. You're up. Oh, boy. Um, I see I'll go up to my left and sieve to my right. I see the unseen servants spilling out into the maze. You don't see them. <laughs> I don't see them. I heard Lily cast her spell. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I'm. I don't have an action. I'm just gonna wait. I don't think I can do much right now. Okay. Just to talk this out, we have touched both lit and unlit orbs. We right? have. We've touched In two both, lit, and we've touched at least two unlit. Yeah. And when we touched unlit. It lit somewhere else. Correct. And when we and touched lit, no, it, it, no. just to be clear, yeah. when you yeah. touched an orb, it yeah. lit up, right? And yeah. then the room shifted, right. and the orb right. itself shifted right. to the other side. So right. there are rooms where it is symmetrical, and there are rooms where it is asymmetrical. Hmm. I've noticed that. I mean, not rooms, but orbs. Excuse yeah. me. So, yeah. but you see them. The it shift both times. Okay. Uh, uh, so your turn. Oh, and well, Fahima, Fahima, done? well, Fahima will, will walk to the portal. Um, and I know that Siv already investigated, but Fahima will try to investigate it since I'm not sure what else to do right now. Okay. Roll an investigation check. You have advantage from Paleo Gaming countered by references needed. Thank you, Bolt. Um, all right. That's a, a 20. Seven. There are markings on the uh, obelisk thing above the portal too that I didn't recognize because I don't read whatever it is. Oh, yeah, you, you said Hima, you do a very thorough check of this door, this exit, and it it is it seem it is completely seems completely impossible to get through. There's no seam. There's no crack. There's no. It is. It seems like you are trapped in this room. Now, what, what what gives it away that it's a portal door? I think those are the words you guys used. Yeah, it's not, I, I oh. say not portal. a portal. It's, yeah. it's just yeah. a door. Yeah. Oh, just it's a just a door. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I was, okay. I, you know, portal is a synonym for door. opening. Sure. <laughs> so, right. yeah, that's why I was. Got it. I thought you meant it's not a it's not a magical portal of any kind. No, it's not a magic portal. Okay, that's my turn. But you have noticed, I will say, all of you, that. The touching the uh, the orbs has seemed to work like a toggle, toggling the room back and forth, right. mm -hmm. and toggling mm -hmm. the orb on and off. Mm -hmm. Sif, did you say there was writing above above the above the door? I had missed that. Yeah, over here. This it, it's with not J writing more. It, it's just it just seems to be religious markings. iconography markings. Is yeah, not text. is James eyes of the rune keeper is not able to tell any text. No. Okay. Did we ever investigate this, Jeff? Do we know what this thing it is? It appears to be cosmetic. Yeah. Okay. I asked about it because it was standing water. It seemed right. Like it was, yeah. Some so that are symmetrical and some that are not. All right. As to the symmetrical guy. Uh, Fima, you're done, right? Siv, yep. your turn. Yeah. Um, just trying to puzzle things out. Um, hey. Uh, Simultaneous. <laughs> Yeah, Can that's the only thing I can think of. Is... What if what if Siv and the Eagle touch at the exact same time? Right, that's kind of what I was thinking. It's hard to do though because I can't verbally say anything to mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. James. Is what? <laughs> yeah, J <laughs> James <laughs> poke pokes Lily, and uh, he basically points up to the Eagle, and and points back to Siv. <laughs> uh, can I ask this, Jeff? Uh, this yeah. area beyond—is there another room there? No. 
Okay. You are, this is and this is this is not open either. This Correct. is. I see. Yeah. Hmm. I James awakened minds to Lily. Could you tell Ugo Eagle to touch the orb at the same time as Sif? You can send a message to him. Well, Lily is able to do simultaneous touching herself because she's got. Yeah, position. that's what I'm gonna. Do. But I right. don't have a. Yeah, that's what I'm planning on doing. But I don't have a message. I can't yeah, respond. Yeah, I think what I'm gonna right. do, for the sake of argument, is, I know she cast unseen servant, but I don't know when the unseen servant is going to touch, the orbs, so I'm going to risk taking the damage, and I'm going to shout out to Lily. Let me know when they're going to touch the orbs, and I'll do it at the same time. And I'll just take the damage. Alright. Yep. You take five points of piercing damage. The okay. stone takes a legendary action <laughs> and tries <gasps> to get to you. Uh-oh. Bam. Uh-oh. Bam. And it's heading toward <gasps> it's gonna hit both of you guys. Ah. It's gonna go all the way over here and hit all three of you guys. So ah. all <laughs> three of you. do dexterity. Take oh dexterity, no. It rolls a strike. <laughs> That is yeah. so rude. Uh, Fahima, you have advantage from references needed. Thank you. Uh, James Yo, have a straight roll. Lily, you have advantage from references needed as well. Thank, Thank you. you. References needed. Oh, we got two evil yams. Whoa. Both of them from Chef Scott 68. Thank you, oh, Chef Scott. Thank you, Scott. Oh, thank you Chef Scott. Uh, that puts Team Force of Evil in the clear lead at 57%. Team Force of 33. 20 works. I got a freaking nat 20 again. What? You needed. guys. Amazing. You said this is what kind of save? Lily, Lily yes. and James died like <laughs> this. <laughs> there we go. Yep. It's like beautiful. We have jazz hands and great Yes. Horns. 19. 19. Does not oh, save. Oh, wet. <gasps> oh. Excuse me? <laughs> you said 20? Yikes. 36 points of bludgeoning damage. <gasps> You are knocked prone Ow. as the boulder rolls over you. Lily and James manage to leap out of the way. That's a big concentration check on Polymorph. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God you're above the pillar. Mm -mm. Yeah. A 19 didn't save. Okay. That's rude. That's wild. That's, That's wild really that we rude. barely saved. You need, you need That's to wild, make... man. It's wild, man. You need oh, to make man. an 18 on a con check, too, to maintain concentration. The DC is 20, Why? and you guys have been getting 20 and above every time which is i'm like what come on that is well wild. it was mainly me in the beginning so right. yeah <laughs> why do i have to get above an 18 on the con because you took damage? 36 points of damage and yeah you, uh, half you, half the damage is the con dc yeah mm. but you do have <laughs> okay <laughs> okay you do have advantage from references needed thank mm -hmm. you references needed did you use your bard yet i have not and i want to okay you could have used it on the save I, well, I rolled a 19. I didn't think I needed it. Yeah, that's anything. true. That's true. And I didn't know until Jeff announced it. Yeah. Well, yeah, oh, but you okay. can roll after the roll, he said. Well, I I mean, the, the bar now. Not after the yeah, yeah, yeah. I just meant like you could bar it yeah. after the roll. But she didn't think she needed okay. it. Okay. Um, okay. So this Shakespeare quote is dedicated to Fail Waffle. <laughs> um, Whoa. <laughs> I think I know what it is. Uh, shoot, I'm going to get it wrong. Though she be but little, she is fierce. Midsummer Night's Dream. <laughs> you guys are all about that Midsummer. <laughs> I say a lot I know of Midsummer it's so night. easy to quote. Yeah, yeah. There's, good, there's good quotes I in that. I thought of it by doing a, what is it? What? What, you egg? <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, D10, D10. D10? All right. Nice. All right. Okay. I, 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 I 12, okay. expected a Hamlet quote from you. Uh, 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 That's uh, what I expect. Uh, Hamlet would not get one. Uh, <laughs> she just I says Hamlet. <laughs> D6? Uh, I guess it's from Hamlet. That's funny. <laughs> Ever in Hamlet, do they just say Hamlet? I'm not sure. <laughs> Hamlet. I rolled a 10 on my D10 again. Wow. <gasps> Yay! Um, Ooh. So at advantage, I rolled a 13 plus 10. All right, you nice. save. So the nice eagle stays save. an eagle. Oof. Thank you, reference is needed. The eagle stays an eagle. Wait. Don't you have to make the, it's half the damage you did. She did, yeah. 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 yeah it was, it, the DC was 18. Cool. So, where, whose Possibly. turn was that? Where, yeah. whose Her turn math warlock is on That it. was me, by the way. But that then you Sims. did the legendary action of like the boulder. Three. Right. Oh, like okay, so Lily, your turn. Okay, so, um, you, 
you shouted at me. Yes, and I'm I have my hand up and I have my other hand over the top of the orb so that when you gesture, I'm gonna touch my orb. So you tell me when your dudes are gonna touch okay. the other orb. Okay. Uh, the orb, orb in front of you is lit. Right. Okay. Well, we touch lit and unlit orbs, so... I yeah. know. We touch all the orbs up in here, okay? <laughs> um, we do I'm not discriminate. I'm, an orb I'm gonna send a message to MF. James, just because he's right next to me, <laughs> and he can't respond then. Uh, I'm gonna touch the ones that my Unseen Servants can reach, but it won't be all of them, so pay attention to what happens. You can reply if you want, but you don't have to. Great. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. <All right. laughs> uh, so then I will good. command the ones that are within also they're just just so we know i think they can technically go through walls because they're just a mat they're an unseen nothing ah uh it's a it's a very vague there's a lot of debate on the unseen servant yeah. reddits all right well truly. i'm gonna let that be then those, uh, <laughs> those sound like fascinating subreddits i mean i've looked a lot into this it's like can they fly can they not it's wild uh they can't fly but they're also not a thing um so i think it only reaches Sorry, Jeff, it's hard for me to... That one. This one. That one. This one. And that one. This one. And I don't think I would be able to get to any of the other ones within 60 feet. Is that one within 60 feet? Uh, yeah, I believe it is. Yes, oh, 60 feet. <laughs> that, yeah. nothing happens with that. That is not okay. a full orb. Nothing happens. But these three oh. orbs are lit. Does That's not a full mean? orb. Is the other one back here in this corner not a full orb either? Which one? Uh, the one in the far back left, uh, back left corner. This one. Ding it. Yes. yes, that is a full orb. That is a full. This orb. one's like half in the. This one is half in the wall. <laughs> yeah. This so one Jeff, is not... the other ones turned off completely. The one that was next to to. Sid the one that was turned on off. turned yeah. off. Okay, right. The room shifted, and the three that were off, that were touched, turned on. And I gave Siv a thought, like, when that was happening, so do Yeah, you... I mean, I would have touched the one next to me when that was all going down. I don't know if that's going to screw everything up or not. So Siv touched his at the same time as the... As yeah, the... the one that Siv touched was on, and got it is it, now got it. off. Got it, got, got it, got it, got it. And you saw Did it the... shift to the other side of the room as everything shifts and flip-flops. The room tra shifts... Uh, everything flip-flops from one side to the other. <laughs> all this Jeep. movement. James awakened mind to Lily. Have them touch it again. I think everybody needs to touch all six at the same time. Uh, so have them turn it off, and then we'll. I'll get. Ba I'll get to that back one, and I'll go and Siv stay there. Okay. Uh, I don't think I can command them to turn it off again. I mean, it's literally. It's is it an action to touch it? I mean, Jeff. I, I don't yeah. Know. I'll, I'll let you do it again. Yeah. I'll let you do it again. Let's so I'll there. have them. I'll command them to touch it again. Yeah. All right. Gentle so. Touch. All of them go out. I give I give James and Siv a thumbs up. Like Siv would know what we're talking about. Shifts again. <laughs> mm -hmm. And all of them are out. Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 Uh, Stone's turn. Oh, it's still trying to get to Siv. <laughs> so it is That's going dumb, to go dumb rock. bang. What is the uh, rock's intelligence? It cannot get up there, so it's just going to bang into that wall. See if you feel that. I mean, this is a much more solid surface than right. the thing, so you don't have to roll a save or anything, but you definitely feel the impact as it hits the pillar that you're standing on. That's the stone's turn. James, you're up. Um, James. So can I walk across this middle section with the blue? Or is yeah, that you, you have to balance on the the little ledge yeah. ledge here? But yes, twenty. It's a it's a lower ledge than the walls. It's not a wall full wall. Thirty. So James will use his movement to run this far. Uh, and then bonus action: 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So, Where are you trying to get to? You're trying to teleport? Yeah, sixty feet. Yes. Okay. Sixty feet gets me there. Great. Pow. Bonus action. 
and I will lean down and look back at Lily, making <laughs> eye contact with Lily with my hand like like I like it's the family feud. Like I'm ready to hit the buzzer. <laughs> the family feud. This is the family. That's an Souls of the family so feud. Thumbs up, thumbs up and That's a hand the over the buzzer. Campaign, actually, is the family feud. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So that completes your turn, James. You are what? Are you readying an action to push? Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. I'm I'm all ready to, to just tap. Meanwhile, we're go. just ignoring Fahima, who's been flattened by her rock. <laughs> <laughs> She's yeah, fine. Okay. Flat on her back. Uh, I'll go. Your you go. I'll go. Your turn. Uh, well, has anyone communicated this plan to Eagle Uggle? <laughs> well, Eagle Uggle. Eagle Uggle. Eagle Uggle. Eagle Uggle. Eagle Uggo? I don't think anyone is communicating. You would have heard me scream right. to Lily saying, yeah. let me know when you're ready and I'll okay. touch at the same yep. time. Okay, so uh, Eagle Uggo will look to Siv and wait for when he touches the thing. Right. right. All right. Behima, your turn. You are not prone. <laughs> you just got squished by a rock. <laughs> What would you like to do? Crushing it, literally. <laughs> Theme is just so mad, leaves all of us. <laughs> well, well, I can clearly see that everybody else is in the midst of solving this puzzle, touching all of the orbs, right? Maybe. I don't know. Uh, you, you're you're cool. Literally unseen servants that you don't see. You have had no communication, verbal communication with anybody. I, I did great. shout out loud yeah, enough to did. say to Lily <laughs> that we're going to try to touch all the orbs uh, yeah, at the same true. time. Yeah, that's true. You took damage for that. So yeah, yeah. I'll, yeah. I'll say Fahima is, is, understands that something is afoot. I mean, <laughs> yeah. she, was she may have been a, knocked a little over under a foot. <laughs> I'm only asking because this whole this whole map, Fahima's just been like riding along, <laughs> <laughs> staying out of the way. So um, I'm just going to keep run over that. for and her troubles. <laughs> I know Fahima's going to just she's going to look at this rocket that's like banging its head against the wall to try to get to Siv, and she's going to uh, walk up these stairs across the ravine so that. The, hopefully the rock cannot get up to her. Okay. And wait. Good call. Save yeah. your turn. I'm just holding my action. Ready in action. For, okay, yep, Lily. Waiting for Lily. Your okay. turn. I'm gonna make eye contact with. Well, Eagle Uggle's looking at Eagle Uggo is looking at Siv. <laughs> yes, I'm looking at Lily. <laughs> okay, I look. I, I make a. I I look at Siv and I look at James to make sure we're. No one's looking at the unseen okay. servants. <laughs> no. And I'm getting ready, and I'm going to put up three fingers. Okay? Okay? And, and command my unseen servants to touch. Everyone touches the orbs at the exact same time. Big win. No whammies. And of course, you Jeff. see something extraordinary happen. <gasps> Of course, Jeff would create a puzzle where the solution was to split the party. <laughs> yep. Yep. The entire room, all of the, all of the orbs start to grow, glow. The room starts to shift. Ooh. The pedestal that's near you, Fahima, starts to glow green as the orbs did, and symbols <gasps> around the periphery of the room. Those strange paperclip-like question mark symbols Ooh. start to illuminate on the sides of the wall and the portal or the door to the room slides open. The rock also seems to come to a rest and that's where we'll end tonight. And Uggo, wow. and Uggo Eagle goes, <laughs> Finally couldn't control himself. And James falls off the wall because the wall disappeared. That's right. <laughs> Great job. <Whoa. laughs> I would like to thank the Union of Unseen Servants. Yeah, I mean, really, really. This episode brought to you by the Union of Unseen Servants. Well Hashtag done, you guys. Strong. Well done. You uh, you solved the puzzle. And I do want to thank, again, references needed. Happy birthday. Happy Thank birthday. you for your generosity. Mwah. Incredible. Two more Literally golden potatoes. Oh, two more. Wow. Uh, yeah, potatoes six and seven from References Needed. Thank oh you God. so much, References Needed. Unbelievable. Our Chrono Dragon. Uh, also, Balloon from Chef Scott 68. Three, Force of Evil Balloons. But wow. it brings the total 
And then again, last call right now because the total <laughs> is Team Force of Good. 49%. Oh. Team Force of Evil, oh. 51%. The Brutal. balloons made the difference. Mm. Brutal. Oh, wait, wait, hold the phone. Uh -oh. I think uh -oh. references oh. need to just drop two more potatoes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> References potatoes eight and nine. You're on fire. How does that know? Oh, but an evil yam from reference. Two potatoes and two yams. No. Forty nine wow. evil. Unbelievable. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> references <laughs> needed. Happy birthday. You uh, happy birthday. Incredible. Happy incredible. Birthday. Incredible. So grateful for you. Thank you. Mm. All right. Uh, that's it for this episode. But. We are indebted to the folks that that give us our, those potatoes and balloons and yams. And uh, throughout the episode, it is a huge, huge, generous thing we are grateful for. But we are also grateful for our patrons, who are the lifeblood of this show, who keep us going month after month. And one of the biggest perks uh, for the topmost patrons is that we read your name out at the end of our episodes. But we don't do it the same way every time. No, we have themes that are <laughs> submitted by our patrons for our patrons uh, that define how we're going to read those names out at the end of the show. Uh, I should tell you, references Nina just did uh, Golden Potato number 10. Dude! Whoa! Which <laughs> swings it to Team you... Force of Good 52%, Team Force of Evil 48%. <laughs> Reverence is needed. Yes. This is last yes. call, so <laughs> you, this is you're deciding who wins right now. Can you really cut off good. references needed though? I mean, I mean, yeah. no, if, I I was, if I was a bartender, I'd be like, okay. that's a that's right, a Chrono well. Dragon perk, I think. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You get to stay after we close. All right. Well, I'm gonna roll. Uh, actually, why don't you roll the, the fun character die you've got there, Lily? True yeah. story. Lily! All right. Show us. So the win first to one, Ireland, win a bar. The first one <laughs> is, uh, wait, hang on. This is for Team Force of Good. Team yep. Force of Good. This was submitted. Oh, this is going to be fun. Uh, this was submitted by Citar. Okay. Uh, Lily, you are a GPS in a car giving directions. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, no. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Are you Wait, sure you know where we're going, honey? I thought I thought we already turned on this street. This is Reeser Road, right? Is this Reeser Road? I Beaker I don't know. Car. Beaker. What is? <laughs> No, it's See, this is what happens when we buy like a like a broken GPS and we're in the middle. You have of the, the language zone. set. To I the... did Kai Desert Wanderer. <laughs> what? That doesn't I... even make any sense. There is no sand anywhere. I... Did you like what setting is this? And whose voice is Piper Boy sixty six. What? I thought we said it to like the the voice of Rock, Dwayne the Rock Johnson. I don't know who this is. Uh, yeah, I switched it off of that. Oh, okay, that's fine. Yeah, I didn't. Yeah, yeah. Well, here, all right. I've had, we'll had a lot of rock jokes lately, so I just don't <laughs> want any more that's of fair. that. That's fair. Hyperboy sixty six feels like a left. Yeah, let's just take a left here. Let's just okay, try. Okay, all right. Let's sure. let's see what it says. Maybe it'll tell us to do like a U turn or something. Yeah, let's. Uh, okay. Fenderil, at the stoplight, I R Mukau, the Gold family. <laughs> you know what's strange is there are cows around here so maybe it's giving us directions based off of like like geographic I mean, location is, as opposed to kind of fun i know this is kind Let's of fun it it ahead sarah oh a seraphie well we got to see what a seraphie is what could that be <laughs> get your camera Let's, out get okay camera. all right yeah no i know this is i mean this is turning into a little adventure i like it yeah. let's go okay Braba in the left lane at sloppy goats bakery <laughs> Oh, there's a bakery coming out. I, I would, I, I mean, I could go for some, I don't know about Sloppy Goat's Bakery, but I could definitely go for a Danish. I mean, love always, always scone. Yeah, yeah let's go. Or a cup right. of coffee. Just tools, north. We don't have time to <laughs> shop. We no. We don't have time to go shopping. So. Right. Okay. So let's find the you bakery. You know what? I'm just going to push some of these buttons and see if it switches into a different language. Hold oh, on. okay. Got it. Got okay. it. Okay. Maybe we're in like, I don't know, German or something. Got it. scratches. <laughs> Oh, that's an interesting accent that's developed. <laughs> I put, I'm on Del 89. I, I accidentally put it on on bad Cockney accent. Yeah, yeah, on, no, on, I on, love on, that. On, no, that's yeah. fun. It's like it's like yeah. we're in uh, My Fair Lady or Makes something. Adrian Nips on the rat. Oh, well, French now. Nice. <laughs> Beauty I mean, and the Beast setting, I think. That, there you go. <laughs> Only a Bob Harris. 
Oh, we we will run out of gas eventually. Right? So no, you're right. Probably. Yeah. Let's. Uh, you know it's what? It's your mother here to tell you your past decisions are coming up straight <laughs> ahead. How does it know the voice of your mother? I don't know. That sounds exactly like it her. It does sound exactly <laughs> like Big Mama. <laughs> Amazing. Hey. I, love, <laughs> I love doing it with no, just the names. I love that. It's so funny. <laughs> it's so funny. Hey, guys, yeah, I have to tell you. I had, oh, yeah. what did he do? No. <laughs> Jeff Scott 68 bought their third evil yam of the night wow, which brought you, the tug of war to team force of good 50 <laughs> percent well, team force oh. of evil 50 percent <gasps> nice does that mean we get both and then chef scott 68 bought a force of evil balloon <gasps> <What? laughs> That's wow. cheating. Well played. That's cheating. I Don't worry, well played. For cutting it off, Team Force of Evil, 51%. Team Force of Good, 49%. I can't even be mad at that. <laughs> that's some, that's some wow. baller play. Wow. Baller play. Well Chef done, Scott Chef Scott. and well references done, needed. Well done, needed. everybody. Well done, Thank references you. needed. Uh, the roll, roll the die for the Team Force of Evil names. Uh, I'll go. Ooh. I'll go. Okay, so this comes to us from Marie Listopad, Yay. who submitted this one. I love this one. This I, I don't often do uh, the references from the actual uh, show, but this one is a pretty good one. This okay. is an auctioneer selling off the cheesemonger's estate. <laughs> oh, boy. Boy, okay. Wait, so does that mean they're from Olsvach? <laughs> uh, that's, that's up to Ron, I guess. I mean, I'm going to try it. I'm going to butcher it. <laughs> okay, it is time to do the thing where I sell off all the things here. Who is up first? Uh, first, we have a down to clown. Who wants to down to clown, huh? No? Uh, like who won? One, one yes, down to yes. clown. Who's two down yes. to clown? Oh, three yes. down to clown. <laughs> so, down to clown to the clown in the back. Now it's time for, oh, I like this one. It is a drama prana. Yeah, oh, that is very yeah, nice. It is real fish from Osvash, from outside. Osvash keeps in a small bag uh, going for uh, 50 gold. Who oh, do I, I hear? I heard that certified Gorbin plate. Oh, oh, oh well. Yes. I, I hear one Gorbin plate here. I hear, I hear a J-Rock. Who wants to J-Rock this? I heard the cheesemonger used to feed peasants to that drama piranha. So yes, yes <laughs> oh. definitely. Hold <laughs> to the man in the back with the rock as a, as a friend there. Okay, uh, that's wild, man. That's wild. But next we have an elf. Wait, 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 wait. There was what, an elf in the. In what the, kind of elf? What, what kind year? Of elf? The forest elf, and they are they are give or take eighty six years old. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind, too old for me. No, okay. Oh, the mature elves are the best. Oh no, okay. So now is oh oh I am sorry. They want you to know that they are a student of the Grim. Oh, they're educated. They are uh, yes. They are selling their services as a student of the Grim. Hmm. I think do I'm I not hear, I, I wanna Do know. I hear I'm, anyone I'm say I think I'm nuts? Myself. I'm full up on Grim. <laughs> <laughs> anyone here? I think I'm nuts. I, I am nuts. <laughs> yes, I have nuts. Uh, oh, sold I, to I, you I, there in the back with the nuts. Uh, I am going to have uh, references are needed. <laughs> yes. They are they are good nuts. Salty. <laughs> Best nuts salty. in all of all such. Yay. Well played. I'd like to buy something. <laughs> Did I arrive too late? Oh gosh, the cheesemonger came to his own office. Wait, is that how the cheesemonger sounds? Yeah. Did that we miss so that? Jarl. That was oh, Jarl. Man. Come on. Life is pain. There we are. <laughs> Jarl would be oh, getting Jarl sold at the clown. They <laughs> thought would be getting sold no. at the auction. All right. Oh my god. <laughs> No, so horrible. absolutely not. Thank you to our patrons. Thank you, thank you, thank you to our patrons. We are grateful for you. Uh, if you'd like to become a patron, there's lots of really cool perks. Check it out. Patreon.com slash The Dungeon Run. Yeah. All right. We'll be back next week. Until then, humankind, be both. Be both. Be both. Happy birthday, Mom. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. It started, it started, it started, 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 and then, 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 then
the simple dungeon run. simple dungeon run.